Hey, hey, welcome on in, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Phil Carr is mind, mind scan. Uh, that maestro guy. Welcome on in, everybody. How you guys doing? Happy Thursday. I can't believe tomorrow is going to be Friday. This week went by really fast. Let's see here. Stream, stream elements. Welcome on in as well. Uh, Phil Carr, you were the first. Congratulations. That maestro guy, number two. And mind scan, number three. All right, let's see. Let's get these Cheerios out. Ooh, it's a little hot in here. Got the air conditioner on. Mmm. Matt, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. One for Fel Carez. Carez. Just call you Fel. Two for that Maestro guy. And we got three for Mind Scan. One. Two. And three. Yummy. Cheerio to him. Alright, guys. Today we're going to be playing Castlevania 64. Hopefully we will finish up the game today. And then we will jump into um, Legacy of Darkness. Where's the card? I want to show that off. I want to show everybody that I have that game. Did I, like put, I put the card away. I really put the card away, didn't I? Shit. Alright. At Western Shirt, I do own a copy of Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. But uh, we will play that after this game if we finish it tonight. So, yeah. Um, let's just jump right into it. We'll play some uh, Castlevania. All right, kill that music. Um, good news is I think I might have fixed my camera with the white balance. Uh, so I don't, have to do, I don't have to do this thingy every now and then. So we should be good. Uh, so we'll be trying that out. All right, let's play some Castlevania. <laughs> Start this bad boy up. Yeah. All right, so we're on day two. Last time we left off, we were playing uh, the giant, like, boar or something like that. Uh, and we beat him. And now we have to fight Rosa, and we kept getting her asses kicked. So hopefully we could knock this out, no problem. But I think we're really close to the end of the game here. Castlevania time. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, hit start. Alright, let's load our game up. This is Castle Center. Let's do it, Reinhardt. What the hell did I do with my legacy of darkness copy? I must have put it back. Like, where else would I have put it? It's somewhere over there. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at this. There's a freaking contract right here. I didn't even know that was there. So, hold on. Maybe I could pick up a piece of, like, meat or something. Um, buy an item. Roast chicken. I need 15 hunt. Oh, shit. Roast beef. Healing kit. Damn it. Damn it. That fucking sucks. Okay, hold on. Maybe I could... That's a hidden item. I didn't even know that was there. Uh, what the hell is this thing do again? <gasps> huge crystal emits a huge power. Can I pick that up? I can't. I can't pick that up for some reason. Okay, is there gold hidden in those torches? Maybe I could buy something really quick. Nope, there's nothing in there. All right, I just gotta keep looking. If we get 200 more gold, I could buy a health power up. At least I can use that on the boss. Whip it, whip it good. You must whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it good. Here we go. Anything in there? Nope, nothing. Hmm. Hmm. What is over? Something's over there. Can I open this? Oh, snap! There's something in there. Gold. Oh, fucking yay. There's gold in here. Sweet. We got gold. Nice. We have gold in there. That, we could buy some items from that guy. If I just knew known about that the other day, I probably would have just bought a bunch of 
meat, and I could have, like, you know, beat that boss. Heard swearing. Hey, Matt, welcome on in. How you doing, buddy? The contract. Let's buy some chickens. Chicken might be good. Buy an item. Roast chicken. Buy it. And then let's buy a roast beef. 2,000. Take it. Yep. Matt, how you doing? Welcome on in, buddy. We have to go. We have to go on our game hunt very soon. We have to go on our game hunt very soon. I know, I know, like, what is it, like, Mondays or Tuesdays are, like, your only good, or Tuesdays and Wednesdays are, like, your only good, day, good days we could go. Last time you had to work. Uh, if, let me know if you have, like, off on a weekend or something. We, to we totally could do it. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Left that guy, good. All right, let's go fuck up this boss. You know, I guess we could watch this cutscene again. Let's see. You got good pickups Wednesday. Nice. Rosa. Didn't I warn you? Leave the castle now. My mission is to seal Dracula in his tomb. Until I defeat Dracula. Cannot leave here. I... He's <laughs> just... Typo. So, you are determined to take the Count's life. What? It's a uh, him. It's him. A foe of the Count is an enemy to all vampires. Die! <laughs> oh shit. Rosa, stop! I don't want to fight you. Right, let's go fight her. Oh shit, come on. Come on. Oh shit, get up, get up. Hang on. Shit. Hang on, hang on, hit start. Let's do item. Roast chicken. Yes, please. Just whip the shit out of this girl. Do it. No, get up. Come on. Come on. Whip, whipper. Whipper snapper. Item. Roast beef. Do it. Come on. Get up. Come on. Get up. Can I whip her and then use my sword? I probably could do that. Get up. Got her. Finally. Ah, uh, she's dead. Killed her. Hmm. Please finish me. Rosa, I didn't mean to. I cannot stand this agony anymore. A cursed soul doomed to exist forever as a vampire. It was the curse of Dracula that made you a vampire. If you survive, be sure to tell my parents. Even unto death. I never fully lost my human soul. Rosa. Rosa! Is death talk in this game? Steal, you fool. As a vampire, she could not bear to kill you. But in time, her curse will deepen and take her. Stra take stronger hold. I shall enjoy watching your next encounter. Ho, 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 ho. What we got now? Okay, so let's see here. I believe I could save my game. Like, there's, there, I saw a jewel that I could use. Okay, I guess not. All right, so I guess we could go upstairs now. I'm 
about to get killed, though. So you go upstairs. All right, you go into this room. And I think we could go up this elevator now, finally, and that's where we're supposed to go. The mechanisms to operate the elevator. Do you wish to operate the elevator? Yes, please. Let's do it. Powerful magic is operating the elevator. All right. You know, I think there's a power-up up there. I'm gonna go grab it. There's a power-up up here. I should be able to pick it up. Yep, let's get it. Power up. All right, let's go into the elevator. I think when we step up here, it should fill up our health. And is it? Nope, it didn't fill up shit. There is a save point right here. I don't want to use it, though. Because I have a feeling if I die, I'll just start here with low health. I feel like I could, use, I could beat that boss a little bit better. Shit, get up. There it is. Filled up my health. That's what I was looking for. Good. Okay. Dual tower. Can I go back through here? I could. So you could you could backtrack. Can you go back down the elevator now? Shit. And I just fucking died. Look at that. If I do continue restart the stage, what does that take me? Dual tower does that. Okay. I'll take that. It any day so I could go backwards can I go back down the elevator ah shit get over here you're probably wondering why do you want to go back down the elevator you can't okay you could go back down the elevator because I think there is a way to get infinite money I think there's a way to get infinite money uh I remember reading a guide somewhere. If you go back to where you fought the big boar, you could keep picking up gold. I could be wrong. It probably will lock me out. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, it lets me through. Okay. So... Yeah, let's see. Anything in here? Because I would like to power up before I go to the next stage, you know? Nothing in here. Anything in here at all? Ooh. Nope. Doesn't let me do shit. Hmm. Okay, never mind. So we got to go back to the... We also need to power up our whip, I realize. Shit. Okay. Boom, boom. Anything in here? Oh shit, get up. Don't fucking die here. Cross. Come on, go this way. Open it. Alright. All right, let's let's get a power up. All right, let's get the. There's no power. There's no power up in there. Shit, I lost it. Okay. Go up here. So, what is this all about? Uh, I lost like a good quarter of my health right now doing this stupid trick here. I'm just gonna fall down and die Fall down die do reset stage. It'll put me back to where I was before Okay, dual tower. Let's do it What is dual tower tower old? Oh shit. It's a boss fight. You start off at a boss uh, I got I'm so underpowered right now Okay. 
come on. Alright, it looks easy. You just gotta dodge his attack and then just go at him, I think. Good battle view. Keep on whipping him. Come on, whip him good. Dead. Shit. One more. Got him. What happens now? Two power-ups. Goody. Dual tower. Do I get, like, roost beef anywhere? Oh, shit. So that locks me out. No, it doesn't. I could go reverse. Okay. Dual tower. Tricky platforming ahead of a... Oh, would you look at that? You just fall to your fucking doom when that happens. Shit. Uh. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna go back to a previous save. I want to see something. I gotta fight. I wanna go fight Rosa again. See if I can conserve my health. Nope. <laughs> that didn't do shit. That didn't do shit at all. Alright, let's pick up the contract. I'm gonna go fight Rosa again. I I didn't want to lose all that health immediately. Uh, so chicken and a beef should do the trick. And I should just, like, be a little bit more lax. Uh, do that. One of those. And a chicken. And a, and a beef. Alright, let's back out. Alright, let's go. Very determined to win this time. Right, he's gonna come out and get me. I just gotta jump over him. I'll, I'll outsmart him by going this way. Open the damn door. Yep, let's fight Rosa. Just fight Rosa. Shit. Ah, get up. Ah, get up. Damn it, get up. Doing some silly mistakes here. Damn it. Ah, get the chicken. Use the chicken. Even if, even with like a full set of inventory, I'm doing shitty. Damn it. Ah, get up. Maybe it's because I know I got health. Items, I'll be okay. Dead. Uh, that's really hard. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the the boot roast beef and just kick the shit out of her by spamming. Get up. Get up. Get up. Yep. Yeah, get up. One more hit should do the trick. Well, no, one more hit. Ah, there we go. That that sucks. Okay, so you you either I have to get really good at that boss fight and just like take very little health, or just spam the shit out of it with the, those health items. Uh, okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. Get my power up. Power up. All right. Power up. 300 gold. Use that. Do you wish to operate the elevator? Of course. What kind of stupid question is that? Powerful magic. Yep, I know. But now I have to get to the exit without getting hit. If 
by the Medusa heads. I just realized this. So, in other words, I, I think I managed to do worse than before this time around. Chill. Finally. Okay. So, I'm not going to... I should probably save here. Gotta fight this guy. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, shit. Four. Yo, six string. Well, come on in, buddy. Five. Six. Yo, thank you for the 200 biddies. Appreciate it. We got this. Jump backwards. Go that way. Come on. Got him. Mmm. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Get knife. Power up. I got some gold. 100 gold. It's not enough, but it will do the trick, I suppose. Okay, so... Let's jump up here. Okay. It's really hard to make these jumps. Dual tower. Okay. Run and jump. Uh, this looks rough. This is like a Mario 64 style stage right here. Is there anything down there? No. Uh, I gotta time this right. Ready, set, go, 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 go. Jump. Ah, uh, how did I miss that stupid jump? Ready, set. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Oh, okay. Now we gotta fight another boss, it looks like. Who the hell is this? Oh, shit. One. It's like a werewolf. Get. Crap, get up. Two. Three. Four. Fuck. Four, five, fuck, five. I shouldn't even be counting because I, I don't need a count. Hold R. Jump. Hold R. Oh, did I get him? I got a piece of meat. Ooh, a piece of roast chicken. That That's actually really good. So you do get items as you go. That's good. up here come up here dual tower come on up so now what still trucking along <laughs> hey Kira welcome on in buddy how you doing run and jump oh shit hold duck Run this way. So wait, what's what's up here? Is that a virtual boy back there? It is. <laughs> okay, so can I? All right, I gotta run and jump. Hold Z. Okay, good. So you could you could duck under there. That's good news at least. And there's a fucking Medusa head over there. There's a Medusa head that comes at you. And then we could go down here. Oh, nice. Roast chicken. All right, I'm going to use that chicken. Roast chicken. Use it. Perfect. So it gives you health. That's great. Do these platforms sink? No, they don't. I mean, they kind of do. Yep, they sink. <laughs> they sink, so you got to go very fast to this part. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. There you go. What's in here? 
A dagger. Good. Or a knife. Jump. Come up. Come on up. Run this way. Hold up. I wonder if there's anything hidden over here as I'm climbing up. It just seems like something would be hidden somewhere. Since the camera is like so focused over here. Alright, hold on. Like, it looks like I could go that way. I, I, I think there's something. Fuck, so that could get you. It looks like something is over there. Thanks for the sh thanks, thanks for giving a shout out to uh, Kyo, man. Appreciate it. Something's over here. Some something's over here. Why would the camera not pan that way? I'm going this way. Hate it. Okay. Boss. Oh, there's a fucking tiger. It's a fucking tiger. A, a tiger. It's like the, it's the cheetah man. You gotta fight the fucking cheetah man right now. It's the cheetah man. Oh. Easy peasy boss right there. Jankalvania. Let's get the 500 gold. I'll take the machete. Oh. Oh. What the fuck was that? Dude, I got fucking squashed. All right, so I have to do restart the stage because I didn't save. I know there's a way to save your game too on this. Uh, if you go backwards to the, uh, the the castle center, you could save shit. Yeah, trouble with them. I like them. I mean, this shit's not gonna be 100% easy, but it's doable. I have trouble locking on my whip to these guys. You gotta hold the R button. Oh shit, come on. I hope I could get the same RNG with the, the pieces of meat like I did before. Shit. Come back. One more, got him. He does not drop anything that time, this time. Okay. Uh, run this way. They're pretty jank for Castlevania. PS2 ones kind of got a little bit, yeah, I think so. But I, I like this, I like this, these, these Castlevanias. Um, people think they're jank. I think they're all right. I mean, it, it feels kind of fluent. At least it's not tank controls like a Resident Evil. Like they got the 3D movement down right, I think. camera's a little weird. I'm running this way. Shit. This fucking obstacle course right here. I made it past there this time. Nice. What's in here? Another boss fight. Werewolf. Ah, come back here. This time I don't get the damn dagger. Damn it. Eh, I wish I had. I hope this guy drops pieces of meat this time. Oh shit. You plan to do all the other character? Um, no, nah, I think I'm gonna skip Carrie and go right to Cornell in Legacy of Darkness. Maybe I'll go back to Carrie. Who knows? I don't know. Piece of meat and a jewel. Carrie's a lot bit, bit more fun. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll do Carrie. I don't know. It depends how I feel, really. I kind of want. I kind of wanted to do um, 
Cornell because he's got that werewolf ability, which is pretty cool. But I wanted to do Reinhardt because the whole, the whole, you know, tradition, it, it feels more like a traditional Castlevania game with the whip. Okay, so there's nothing over here. Run. Almost there. Almost. What? Oh. Oh, never mind. I got a roast chicken. It, this was just a sign that I wasn't supposed to go this way. Okay, use the chicken. All right, so we got to run across this whole thing. I think we're gonna, get, we're gonna get another piece of meat if we go this way. So those, these American gladiator style platforming segments are pretty neat, I must say. Get the dagger. Instead of the cross, dagger we could uh, use less jewels. Duck, 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 jump! No, no! Just run. I died. I gotta do this all over again. She's broken with her magic? So it's exploitable with the magic, you're saying? Ooh, interesting. Probably makes these boss fights a breeze. I was looking into it. I think Carrie plays different levels than Reinhardt. So maybe it, it might be worth trying out Carrie. But then I have to go back and do that that trollish. I know Carrie has to do that trollish stage where you got to make the bomb. But at least we know what we're doing. And it's not too bad. That bomb making stage was ridiculous the other night. It's up all night trying to figure out what to do. And I, I almost thought I had to like revert to an older save, which is not even possible in this game, unless you have multiple memory cards. There we go. Do I get any items? Yes. There we go. Run this way. Jump. Run this way. Up. Okay, so this part right here, American Gladi Gladiator style platforming. Time and right. I'm gonna jump. Don't die! Made it. Good. Alright, let's fight the werewolf. One. Two. Three. So hit him and run away. Hit him, run away. Hit him, get up, run away. Hit him, just hit him and go. Hit him and run. Hit him and run. Hit him and run. Hit him and run. Shit. Hopefully he drops me. Ah, get up. Damn it, get up. Ah, get up. I hope he drops meat. Got him. Give me some meat. Yeah, got meat. Got cross. I gotta run away from the platform. Okay, good. Come on up. Hopefully I won't fall down this time. Which I believe Duck. 
Ah. Uh. Ah, come on, what the fuck? You made me, oh no, slide. Jump. Duck, duck. Fall. Right, this better be a piece of meat in here. There is, okay, I'm gonna use this piece of meat. Hey Dave, we'll come on in. Item, roast chicken, use it. Stupid. Every t every time too, I keep, I keep screwing up. All right, run over here. We're gonna fight the tiger next, or the cheetah man. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. I like this music. Take the dagger. One thousand gold. That way, run this way, good. Come up. Run this way. Nice. Go this way. Run this way. Oh crap! I can't believe I fucking did that. It's like I, I sort of sidestepped and I like ran off the platform, which is weird. Duck. Close one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, this is some weird platforming. Can I climb up and just duck? Run, 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 run! Good. Okay, let's fuck up this guy right here. One. Oh shit! Oh. Guy's fucking beast. Got him. Okay. So I gotta be quick. Get the gold. Get the power up. Stay over to the edge here. Alright, made it through. Okay, last time I got crushed. Over there, I got really crushed. Why do they give you all this room? Dun, 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 dun. Go this way. Go. Alright, I got a platform there. Cross here. Let's see. Ready, set, go, 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 go. Don't do it. Just wait. And now. Hold Z. Hold Z. Oh shit! And then something's gonna get me. Ah, oh, fuck. Get out of the way. Close one. Something's over here. All right, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use an item. Roast chicken before I go through that door. Wonder what's over here. What's over here? Ooh! Probably didn't have to use that roast chicken. Tower of execution. White jewel. Will you save? Mindscan wants to play game of life spinner. All right, perfect. Perfect place to take a little break. All right, let's play a little game of life spinner, everybody. I'm your host, the king. All right, mind scan. We're my. Yeah, I think you could see the spoke. It's right there. Let's give it a good spin. Ready, set, go. Orange. I gotta do push-ups. All right, push-up cam. Let's rotate. Let's pivot. Let's pivot. All right. There's where I'm gonna do the push-ups. Let me. Let me just uh, make sure I make sure my underwear doesn't stick out or anything as I'm uh, doing these push-ups. There we go, push up time, let's go. Let's do it. Let's extend the camera. There we go, get to see my, my Cheerios. All right, here we go. And you can see me, right? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Cool. Nice. All right, back to the back to the game. Why isn't my stream deck working? <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's because I was clicking on something. Shit. <sighs> All right. Well, my stream deck's working. Mind scan wants extreme close up. All right, you got it, buddy. Whoa. Hi. Nice. Okay, back to the game. All right, cool. All right, so we saved there. Thank you for that. Mind scan, appreciate it. Let's go. All right, so now we got... <sighs> Execution tower? This is weird. Go in here. This level looks brutal. This looks like a very brutal level. You can tell because it's slowing up. Shit. Oh, it's slow. That frame rate. Shit. Come on, die already. Can I run and jump? Nope. You die instantly when you fall on there. You want a stream deck? They're not that expensive. The mini one you could get for like $80, which is still kind of crazy. And I found out there's a trick you could do with the stream deck. Um, if you want more buttons, you could make pages next. You can make a next page button, which turns the page to the next button. The next set of buttons. So you really don't need like an XL or anything like that. <laughs> I wish I knew that sooner. Yeah, but there's there's where it is to get more buttons on that thing without you know even you know just so you're not limited to just six buttons. I have a I have a, a mini and a regular, so I have a six and a 15 key, so I got 21 keys. Technically, I could expand and get more with that trick. Come on. There you go, four, get that. Oh, red jewel, nice. Come back, go forward, ready, set, go, 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 go. Hmm. Oh, this is some Mario 64 level programming right here. Gameplay. I gotta run and jump. This is something you would see out of, out of uh, Mario 64. Show a random retro item with an arm's reach. Okay, let's see here. Let's think. What can I show off today? That's random and retro. Random and retro. With an arm's reach. Hmm. I know what we could show off. Mm, random retro. Oh, should I show off something exciting? That's random and retro. I'm just gonna pull something out. Uh, ooh. This is this is random and retro. So this is a copy of Dentia Day Go 2 for the Wonder Swan. Remember that train simulator game I had for the Sega Saturn? They made a, a handheld version for it on the Wonder Swan, and it's all on here too. Like that, the full 32-bit version of the game is on here, but in black and white. So, and I played it; it's legit. I do actually, Keo. I don't know if you're still here. I actually have the Clock Tower um, Wonder Swan game, and it's it's all in, in its 16-bit glory in, in black and white. If I could find it, I'll show it off next time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's the random retro item. Thank you, Six String, for redeeming that. Use the speed run the Wonder Swan version. <laughs> nice, that's cool. Yeah, the Wonder Swan version of um, of Clock Tower. It's all there. <laughs> it is a hundred percent there. It's just in black and white. So it's a little bit harder to see what's on the screen. It's probably should get like a Wonder Swan color, 
and get that backlit mod uh, screen mod to see what's going on not a great experience but it's a decent for yeah sound effects all that stuff is in there it's it's really neat I must say how they pulled that off oh shit don't you knock me off that platform running ready second go 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 got it yeah this is some Mario 64 level programming here okay Execution tower. There's some bats up here. Bats that f shoot fire at you. Okay, so I could jump. Can I make that jump over there? I, I feel like I could make that jump, but I'm not going. I know I can't. There we go. Oh, get that money bag. Nice. 500 gold. Damn, 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 damn. I feel like a booby trap is going to come out and get me. This part right here. Yo, Wind John, welcome on in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Come on. Got him. Sweet. Every jump to grab a ledge is clenched by a button. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Shit. Win John, thank you for the fall. Appreciate it. How do I get over there? I gotta time this right. Yeah. Oh, I missed the freaking red jewel. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Anything over there? Hey, hey, welcome. Happy Thursday. Can't believe tomorrow's already gonna be Friday. Friday. Weekend will be here. Weekend will be here for everybody except for me because I have to work Saturday, late Saturday night going into Sunday. That's right. The following weekend will just be better for me. I'll, I'll, I'll make it better. All right, so I could either go up here or I could go back down. I'm gonna go, does it matter which way I go? I think it does. Like there's that path and there's that path. I wanna go this way because I remember seeing some candles that I could get over here. Can I open that? Oh, there's a locked door. You have a weekend off for once, nice. Door marked tower of execution, it is locked. Yeah, it's on the other side. A locked door. What is this? I'm just gonna fall down here. Dun, dun, dun. We got this. So it's booby traps, I see. You can't fool me with these booby traps, game. I got gotcha. you. Oh, I almost, I almost got hit there. I almost got screwed over. What's anything in here? Gold. What's in here? Anything? I think this is just for show. Piece of meat, I'll take it. Roast chicken. A few weeks, nice. Aren't you supposed to be going on vacation soon? I heard you were going on vacation, right? Or is that could be, that's not for a while. Ooh, I'm just gonna go back there and quickly save. White Jewel, would you save at this point? Yes, please. Yeah, as I'm playing through this game, I was going through like my stack of N64 games. I, I, I believe I committed a sin, guys. I have both Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask, and I still, still haven't played them yet. I definitely broke a, a sin by doing that. We need to play those soon. For the weekend. Oh, nice. Get 
Got him. Get the jewel. Get it. Hey, Neo Shadow, how you doing? Never finished either, but uh, got pretty soon. Got both pretty soon after the 3DS. Ah. Yeah, they're, they're on the 3DS as well, yeah. They're also on the GameCube with that. It was like that special Zelda promotional disc. So I gotta say, that's a pretty nifty buy if you were able, were lucky enough to get one back in the day. I think that was a Nintendo Power exclusive. What's this? Red Skeleton. I'll take him. Come on. Can I just knock you into the lava? Probably could. Can't knock him into the lava. So, he, yeah, he just keeps coming at you. Ooh, okay. <gasps> no! Fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to fall into the lava. I was trying to move back. Doing good. Definitely regret not getting more GameCube games years ago because of the print. Yeah. Yeah, I learned the hard way with the Nintendo uh, with the Game Boy Player. I actually went out and got a Game Boy Player recently, and uh, that shit was two hundred dollars, expensive. And uh, I'm trying to get the the Swiss homebrew. Went out and got a uh, Splinter Cell for ten bucks, and I went on eBay and I, and I got one of those pre-flashed uh, memory cards. Uh, hopefully it works when I get it. Shit, I'm dead. And I fucking died. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, this this platforming definitely reminds me of the platforming from yesterday's game I was playing, Blame Machine Head. You just gotta take your time on these on these uh these uh mini boss fights here. Well, they're not boss fights, but you gotta take your time on these enemies. Got him. Problem is this camera, it like, it, it, you're just like so zoomed back and everything. Let's get this red skeleton. Shit. Fall down already. Come on, just go down. There you go. Now I tried going all the way back there. Um, that was a waste. Now we got more of these platforming segments. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go, 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 go. There's a red skeleton throwing, chucking things at us. So we got to be fast. Run, 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 run. Nice. Oh, dude, I got the guy and I fucking fell. That sucks. That would have been a perfect combo if I landed that. I knew I wasn't going to land it, but if I had landed that, that would have been cool. A nice, cool save. So close, very close. Okay, so right here, to get this guy, I need to throw. It's obvious I have to throw. I just gotta keep throwing knives at him until he goes down. There you go. And just run through. This time I get a power up instead of uh, gold or jewel. There you go. Nice. Okay. Boom. Alright, there you go. Just go right into it. Shit, get up! No, 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 get up, get up! I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you! I'm just gonna skip over that guy, fuck it. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go. No, no hoppity hop, no, no hoppity hops. I need to go up there. There we go. Perfect. Medusa heads are such a pain in this. Somebody's throwing shit at me. Uh, I can't go that way. One, two, 
three. Something's over there. I'm going this way. Something is over there. What is this? Take him out. A key! Execution key. Okay, so I could go through that door. There, I gotta run this way. Execution key. Real question is, what am I doing with this? So I could go up those stairs, or I could go for the execution room. I'm gonna go for the execution room. Slide. Two. There we go. All right, how did I get up here? I have to like... Huh. Huh. I don't think I could go that way. Damn it. Uh. Ugh. All right. Fuck. I'm going. I'm gonna have to go that way. Ugh. I wish I could just drop down. I kind of get the feeling if I drop down. Got him. What do I get? Jewel. Ten jewels. So if I go this way, no luck. Hmm. Like, I could go up here. Can I go back downstairs? Ah! Uh, I, I, I can't go backwards. Shit. Uh, well, I'm not saving. Because I, I, I want to see what's behind that execution door. All right, quit. We're doing that again. I want to see what's behind the execution door. There's some. There's something over there. Like it, it's just screaming. I have to go through the execution door, but it just lets you go through without going through the execution room. All right, so it starts me off right here. Don't have to start me at the beginning, so that's good news. All right, so I have to figure out how to get back to this point safely. Jump. Got. Oh, got him. So I'm going to slide under this guy. Got him. Okay, so now I'm going to go right. No, what am I doing? Come back. Thought I could time it right. Alright, go this way. Wait there. Jump. Oh! Fuck. <sighs> I like this music at least. This is good. Dun, dun, dun. Jump. Come on. One, two, three, four, 
fuck. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. No. I might as well just get killed. But fuck it. I'm gonna keep going. 500 gold. Slide. So I think after the room with the clocks, it's the clock tower. You probably have to fight death on the clock. You always fight death on the clock tower in a Castlevania game. And then it's uh, Dracula, I guess. We're almost there. I gotta wait. Wait for it, wait for it. Go, 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 go. Mate, nice, made it. Nice combo. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go left. If I could get the view to stay like that, I'll know where to drop off. Get the execution key. Execution key. All right, so if I could keep the camera like this. I just fall down, right? Nice, okay, good, good, good. That's what I was looking for. It's so hard to find. Can I just. No, I can't. Go, 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 go. Don't stop. Keep going. Nice. All right. Fight this guy. Nice. Cool. All right. Wow, that camera block was was bullshit. All right, so now we could go through the store finally. Tower execution key has been executed. So what happens when we go to the tower of execution? What is behind here? You get a piece of roast beef, the cross. Actually, you probably need the cross to do something. And you could probably jump on this guy right here. You get the the special two, which I have no idea what. Wait, I went, wait, I have the. What is the special two even? Special to, I guess, unlock something. All right, we gotta run here. Ready, set, go, 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 go. <gasps> oh, it's just an invisible, oh wow. Interesting. Get up. Okay, so the special two is a special jewel. It's something that's very special. There we go. What is this? Red jewel. So now we just have to beat the level and we're set. Okay, so we got the special number two jewel, which I have no idea what that does. Um, I think it's supposed to unlock something. I think it unlocks the hard difficulty setting. All right, so we're gonna safety save here. And now we just have to beat this level like normal and we're good. Here you got oh run and slide 
to... There you go, got him. There you go. So now I just gotta do this again, this part. This isn't so bad. Just get the hang of it. It's not so bad at all. Come on, get up. Oh, come back. Ooh, close one. Wait right here. Crap. Alright. Shit. Alright, run, 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 run. Stay there. Now it no, no, don't hit me. Good. Perfect. Oh, close one. See, I'll take I'll take accidental like attacks like that. Shit. Come on up, spin around. Go, 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 go. Come on up. <gasps> what the f mm. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Get up. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Run. Fuck. Run away. Run. Oh. Okay. Come on, hit him, hit him. There we go. Fucking bullshit. Oh shit. That's right. I have to face that guy right there. Oh. I don't want to use the chicken, but I'm gonna have to. Ooh, what's this? Maybe I don't have to use the chicken. Red jewel. I don't have to use the chicken. <gasps> Fucking bullshit! Oh my gosh. Oh. Alright. No need to get salty. I just do that again. That is bullshit what just happened there. I got the freaking I, I I got the cross to defeat the thing and uh well I turned around the fucking guillotine gets me. And of course it cause everything too much is going on on the screen. Oh my god. I gotta fight him again? One, two, three. There you go. Ooh, get the jewel, get the jewel, get the jewel, get the jewel. Fred jewel. I didn't want to use the roast beef, because I know when you exit the level, you get... <laughs> you get a full set of health when you exit the level. That's why I'm not trying to use my roast beef. And I could actually use that roast beef on something. But now I gotta do this whole level all over again. Come this way. Come up. Come on. This game's a pile of shit fuck. <laughs> it is. It is. Oh man, it is Q. This is this is terrible. Oh gosh, this is so fucking terrible. Why did I go back to get that? Well, to get the special two gem. That's why. That's why I went back. Which I have no idea what it does. Oh come on, just just ignore it. Hey Max, beat this game back in the day it was horrible. Hey hey Max, welcome on in. How you doing? Hey Max, I like your username. It's great. I had, uh, I had a cat named Max. Gray tabby cat. He passed away, sadly, back in 2005. Every time I, I hear the name Max, I think of him. Alright, let's so have to wait here. So there is a way to sidestep step in this game. Things coming back. And I missed the fucking jump. Of course. Start it up again. Dun, 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 bun, bun, dun, 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 We could do this. We got it. Alright, jump over that guy. Hmm. Jump over there. Hit R. Please don't pop out and kill me. 
Just gonna throw it. Slide. Slide like a baseball. One, two. Slide like you're stealing third plate. Go, go, go. All right, come on up. Oh, that's some almost good RNG right there. But now we gotta sit and deal with Go, 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 go. Oh. Nice. That was a good... Okay. That was an awesome combo. I managed to whip and kill the guy and grab onto the ledge. Before I tried doing that, like a couple tries ago, and I, I almost pulled off and I died. And nice. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get around here. One. Two. Got him. Okay, so there is a 10 gem somewhere. Yep, wait for this thing to come down. Hop over this guy. Come on in. Dun, 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 dun. Slide. There we go. Get the jewel. Red jewel, 20. Okay, so from here, let's just uh, come up to the thing and throw it. Got him. Sweet. That's what I was trying to do before. And the game wasn't letting me do that for whatever reason. Okay, got the red jewel. Now we can go up. And now we'll save the game because we got the... Uh, we got the... Um, got the piece of meat that we need. How many pieces of meat do we even have? I have one roast... Okay, I have a roast chicken and a roast beef. Okay, nice. Okay, so now we'll go save our game. Save here. There's a white jewel. Will you save up to this point? Yes, please. Data saved. Ooh, can we... Is there anything in here? Whoa. Room of clocks. Roast beef. Oh, why did I get the holy water? I wanted a fucking cross. I should have kept the cross. Okay, fuck it. I'm not saving now. Uh, we'll go this way. The clocks. Let's go upstairs. Where does this take us? What is this? Oh! Sickles! That means death. Damn! Heh heh heh! Wretched cur, I will slash you to pieces. Oh crap, we fight death. Death probably has two forms. This is the end. I'm gonna say death has two forms. No, Rosa saves her life and she dies, even though we already killed her. <laughs> Have you forgotten your blood, girl? You would give your life to him, would you? Rosa, why? Your heart is strong and pure. You can defeat Dracula. As long as he exists, the horror continues. No one deserves my fate. Have you, have no fear? I will kill the counts. I already said I, I'll kill the clown, good. Ah, I fear death. My sinful soul cannot hope for forgiveness. Should just fade away. God of compassion, forgive her. Forgive us of our sins and lead us into eternal joy. God has forgiven all. Rosa. No. Nice. She just fades away. But you, you I can never forgive. Sad cat. He 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 he. Vampire killer. You mourn a vampire's death. This is not the anger of a vampire killer. This is the rage of all humanity. <laughs> I like this. All right, let's go fight death. And why did I pick up the stupid holy? Oh, I love this. This is from uh, Dracula X. I like this. Okay, I wish I didn't get rid of the stupid cross. 
That's probably how I'm supposed to beat him. What the hell is this? How do I attack him? All right, come on. He's got to get down to my level. <laughs> I got one. Probably should have used the pickaxe on him, too. I'm just going to die because I'm supposed to... I, I wanted to keep the axe. I accidentally picked up the holy water. Hold, yeah, that pickaxe would have been perfect for this boss fight. I think I could still get him, though. Come on, get him. You got this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna get killed though, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna die on purpose. I'm gonna see if I could kick his ass at least, but I think if I had the cross I could take his I could take him down. Yeah. I'm gonna get him with the cross. If I had the cross I could just I could just nail him immediately. Continue. Previously ste save stage. Okay. This time I'm gonna be careful. Keep the cross. I know there's a, it's like a, there's a contract there. I don't want to pick up the contract because I heard if you spend too much, I don't know if this is true or not. If you spend too much money, you have to fight the, that demon who sells you stuff. That's what I hear. And I don't want to fight him. I just want to beat the game. Try not to go to him as that often. Yep. All right. All right. So it's first form. You just got to run away from the fish or whatever. I got no axes, but that was a good start. Oh shit. Sixle, the sickle fight. Come on. Oh, you could whip him in the air. I didn't even know you could whip him in the air. I thought he has to be on your level in order to get this pulled off. All right, here we go. Fish, I knew it. He summons the fish. All right, hang on. Let's get some chicken up in here. Roast chicken. Hey, stray sheep. I don't know why they didn't make more Castlevania games like this. Yeah, I know. Despite how much shit this game gets, I actually am. I enjoy this game a lot. This is good. This is good Castlevania. Just because Igarashi wasn't involved, you know, doesn't make it to doesn't make it a good Castlevania game. It's still pretty solid. That same goes for Metal Gear Solid. Just because Hideo Kojima is not involved doesn't make it a shit game. Like, Metal Gear uh, Snake's Revenge on the NES is... I thought that was a pretty good game. Kojima not involved with that. Who cares? It's still pretty good. I like it. It's got that Konami feel to it. I like it. Vengeance is also fucking good. And Kojima, Kojima gave his seal of approval. Yeah, Vengeance is... Vengeance is pretty... I mean, if I was more a fan of hack and slashes, I would totally get into that game. But it's its own thing. It's pretty good. And... You know what? You know who knows? Maybe maybe survive is is pretty good too. You know, but I hear I hear survive gets a lot of shit. Survive is like the, er, scum of a Belmont. That beat him, or is there another form? Back to your dark realm. Soon I'll send Dracula to join you. Nice. 
Cocksure sure youth. I'll wait for you to in hell. <laughs> Be sure I will keep a warm place for you. <laughs> he just told me to go to hell. Damn it, what an asshole. Astral Chain 2. I was going to say, Metal Gear uh, Survive is like... It's, oh, we got to go fight Dracula next. Clock Tower. Yep, that's where we go next. Um, it's like the spinoff that was in... Um, yeah, you know you had Star Wars uh, Return of the Jedi. And there was Wookiees in that, in that uh, movie. They did a spinoff of... Uh, that that movie, I think there was they they call the Ewoks. There's two, two yeah, there's a movie about Ewoks. George Lucas was not involved, or maybe he was involved. Has nothing to do with the Star Wars universe. It's just a spinoff, and I thought it was pretty good. Metal Gear Survive, spinoff of Metal Gear Solid Five, and I think I think it you know it probably would be a good game. You know, got to give it a chance, but uh. I'm not in that mindset to give it a shot. Alright, so we'll save here, right? Wait, Jewel, we save up to this point? Yes, please. Alright, let's take the contract. Let's buy some... Some stuff. What do we get? So I say I should go for a chicken. Right? Chicken's 1500 Yeah, let's get two chickens. There we go. Two chickens. Perfect. And let's go fight Dracula. Should be able to... Yep. Let's go right through there. Clock tower. Here we go. And this isn't the same clock tower that the... The... Survival horror game. This is like... Yeah, I think after this level, it's, it's Dracula. You just have to... It's a series of platforming. Let me go fight Dracula. Jump, jump, jump. Come on up. Jump up. Spit around. Go this way. Ah, oh, that sucks. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, load from a save. Contract. There we go. Bye. Chicken. That that page turning sound effect sounds familiar familiar. They I think they used that same stock sound effect in Mist when you turn the page. I know it sounded familiar. Can I break that? No. I can't. Okay, clock tower time. Let's do it. Climb up here. Let's see. Can we, like, look up to see what we have to deal with? Oh, snap. This is like the clock stage from Mario Mario 64. I referenced that game a lot on stream. That particular level is, is it's just hellish. To get all 100 coins on that level is just brutal. You have to, like, play the level at the right time, too. Because, like... Depending on what time you enter the stage determines whether the the arm parts move or not. And you want the arm parts to move slightly slow and not like fast or like stopped. And that's how you get all the coins in that level shit. Oh, I didn't die. Nice. Oh, no, I died. <laughs> Stupid sidestep technique. Um... Probably wondering why are you, why do you keep going to the contract? Why don't you just save that third of the contract? Well, if you buy too many items from the guy, I think you have to fight him. So I'm just, um, I'm just saving before I, I use the contract in case that happens. But yeah, Mara 64, that, uh, that level, that level was terrible. And the level with the clouds, getting all the coin not even just getting all the coins in that level, getting all the stars on that level. It, it, 
any any stage with the, like moving platforms on it is is rough. And in Mario 64, they they definitely like they don't they don't fuck around one bit. <laughs> like that was that was a hard stage. Wanna jump? How the fuck did I just fall? Like I, I, I like did like a weird sidestep. It's like okay, like whenever you want to make a movement and jump, you have to like stop, collect your bearings, and then do it. But if if you like want to get up and like jump from the platform or the platform, it's like oh no, you got to sidestep and you're gonna die instantly. That's exactly what happened just now. Uh, so buy item, roast chicken, roast chicken. Good, get get out of there. Okay, so now. See what other stages in Maris for that were pain in the ass. Um, well, everybody knows the lava stage. That that stage is that stage is a pain in the ass. If you when you go into the you go into the volcano, I remember falling off those platforms. They remind me of these platforms in this game, and the camera angle just terrible. Uh, one day I'll play. Actually, I think I'll play Mario 64 tomorrow. I mean, I was supposed to. We're we're, we're gonna have a Nintendo 64 variety stream. Definitely count on Mario 64 being on that list. But that's a long game, dude. How the fuck did that? How do you fuck that up? That's so tricky. The contract. Alright. Buy it up. Chicken, chicken. Get out of here. You require something. Come on. Hit that R button. Go right through here. Hmm. Come on. Climb up. Climb up here. All right, jump up there, jump up there, jump up there, jump up there. There we go. Climb up. Jump. Climb up here. Spin around. Joe, go. 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 Okay, okay, good. I'll, I'll take it. It's better than a death. So annoying. Is there anything over here? There is. Huh. There is. There is stuff over there. Shit. Maybe I have to go over there. Climb up, run and jump. Come on, get up. Spin around, jump. All right, cool. <gasps> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta jump, I gotta land on here. This part right here. This part right here. Jump up here. What? What's up here? It is locked. Okay, so we need a key to open that up. All right. So let's fall down. Then we fall down here again. <gasps> oh, close one. Close one. That was close. That was close. All right, so I assume there's a key in there or something. I'm, I assume there's a key in here. What is that? Clock tower key number one. What about in here? Okay, hit that. There's a jewel, a gem. Okay, so we fall down. Can I even go back up here? I could. Nice, I could. Okay, so I think this is gonna give me the key. There we go. Jump. Jump. Use it? The clock tower key one has been used. Perfect. Alright. And nice, there's a save point. I'm gonna take it. 
We save at this point. Yeah. All right. Who cares if I have to fight that guy again? Renin, whatever. Open that. What's in here? And they got more. Dun, 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 Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Got him. Red jewel. Got him. The money bag. Get it. 550 gold. Anything over here? Oh, shit. Alright, I take a death. That's fine. I take a death. That's perfectly fine. Now, the real question is, do I need... Do I really need these money bags? Oh, you asshole. Come on, fuck them up. You get money bags. There you go. Let's grab the red jewel. Dead. Almost caught that platform, too. There, right, run and jump. Oh, get back up. Two. Come over here. Oh, I outsmarted him. Four. Take him out. Five. What do you get? Money bag. All right, come over here. Oh, I caught it. Nice. And jump. Damn it. I should, like, do a jump whip every time I, I jump. Jump and whip. I'm just going to take this guy out first. What do you get? Red jewel. Ah, damn it. Okay, I, I almost got the hang of it. Clock tower. I should just, like, wait for the fireballs to retreat before I do it. Nope. I am getting him, though, every time I whip. I just got to time it differently. Come on, open that up. Okay, run this way. Oh, damn it. Try it again. Come on, go this way. Take it. There we go. He didn't want to he didn't want to throw anything that time, so one, two, three. Go this way. Four, five. Okay, finally got through this. Fuck it. Sweet. There's a key right there. Fuck it. There you go. Grab the key. Clock tower key number two. Oh, how am I supposed to get back up there? Take that. Get the money bag. Run this way. Tegra, how you doing? How you doing? Set. Oh. Hey, Integra, how you doing? Welcome on in. Yeah, sorry to hear about that. Let's see. Come on up here. Get up here. Get up. Go, 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 go. 
Clock tower key number two. Gaseous snake, how you doing? Welcome on in. Throw that. Got him. So let's see, how do I get back up here? Should I, I shouldn't run that way. Can I just run over here? No, I can't. I'm doing great, Integra. Sad about, yeah, it's a sad situation. Unfortunately. I wish them the best, though, both of them. Hopefully things will work out. Snap. Come on in. Oh, oh, crap. I almost saved it, too. Yeah. Shit, this ain't Saturn. Hey, Matt. How you doing? Welcome on in. It's not Saturn, but it's Castlevania, so I'll take it. Nice. Okay, what if we go this way? Duck. I'm just gonna... There we go. Hit him again. There we go. Can I jump from this little cubby hole? Have I beaten this before? I've actually not this version. I've beaten Legacy of Darkness before. Run over here. Yeah, this is what... Wait. Yeah, nice. Okay, so then... That's how you do it. You jump up. No! Okay, wait. No, I made it. There you go. Use it. Nice. That was a close call. If I go this way. Okay, so no save point. Or do we get a save point? I think this is the last part. Oh, yeah. This is like the gauntlet of all platforming in this game. Okay, hang on. I think... Do I have to step on this thing? This stupid camera, just tell me... Oh my god, am I going the right way? Am I going the wrong way? Okay, this is not where I'm supposed to go. Alright, if I jump up here... Yeah, I'm supposed to get on this thing. There we go. Like how Mario 64 came before any 3D platform, this still feels better than any other platform. Oh, yeah, I was just saying that. Yeah, at least this isn't like Bubsy 3D. Doesn't have like that Bubsy 3D effect to it. Am I supposed to jump on this? Oh, okay. I didn't die. That was good. At least I didn't die. I didn't die. That's good news. Oh, shit. Come on. Bubsy 3D. Have I played the first two Bubsies? Nope. I haven't gone through them. I have no desire to. I've done Bubsy 3D. That's about it. And I, I tried the Jaguar, uh, Atari Jaguar version of Bubsy. That was rough. First level. Took me like two hours to get through. There we go. Pick up the money bag. Attack this guy. Come on, attack him. Hmm. Nope, nothing. Alright, so I have to figure out how to get up here. Movement mechanics are hard, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, so, okay, so you just have to, like jump up I wouldn't say this this level wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for this stupid camera this camera is ridiculous <gasps> ah damn it okay hang on item gonna have to use my chicken 
jump up here. Can I? I guess I could go this way. Nope. Did I beat Machine Head? No. I got uh, a last left off on stage 3 3 with the. Um, stage 3 3 with the fans. I almost beat it, and I did something incredibly stupid, and I fell to my death. And I was trying to, like, replicate that and do it all over again. I couldn't, like, I couldn't replicate it. I kept dying, and then, like, at one point, I almost got to the, the point where I almost beat it again. And I just, like, fell to my death. There was, like, this little tiny crack that I could have easily ran over. But for some reason, when I ran over it, it made my ship... Or thingy, it made my ship thingy go out of, out of bounds, and I fell to my doom. Thing about that level that sucks is, is like it's like 30 minutes long, and if you make one mistake, one fatal flaw, you'll just fall to your death, and you got to do it all over again. There's no checkpoints. It's brutal. What am I what am I doing this for? To get that candle. There's a candle over there. I think ultimately though I have to jump up this this mast. I gotta climb the mast. But we'll go we'll give it another shot with machine head. Uh figure that's gonna take more than two days to beat. Cause after that level, I think it's like a boss you have to fight. And after the boss, there's like a whole new level you have to play. This sucks. I keep jumping off this stupid cog. It's this camera. I can't stand this. If I could... It's the camera. Look, like like that. I, I wouldn't have... I would have made that jump if I was able to see where I was going. And it's the stupid sidestep thing. If, you, if you're facing forward and you act... You, you go left. Like, right there. I can do it. Oh, come on. How? Ah, I have to step on the cog and then jump. Can't jump from the, the mini cog to the other cog. Fell. This is like family double dare. This reminds me of the obstacle course. You have to get the... You missed the flag. It doesn't count. Okay, from here to run up here. Jump up here. Go. There you go. Finally made it. What's in here? A key. Okay, so I, did, I had to come down here anyway to get the key. So I could fall down here. Nice. Okay, so yeah. You have to get the key. So we got the key. So now we have to figure out. Okay, so when you... You can't move the control stick at all. When you're climbing these platforms. There you go. Come on up. Ah, oh, damn. You end up leaping every single time when you do this. That is so annoying. Alright, jump straight up. Jump straight up. Jump straight up. Gotta love this camera angle. There you go. Made it up here. There you go. This is tough. Uh, I'm going this way. Alright, so I'll take a little rest point here. Let's see. Where are we supposed to go? Okay, so there's a save point right there. There's something over there, though. I'm not willing to see what's over there. There's something over there. It's a power-up. Uh, I'm going this way, though. Don't jump. All right, I'm taking the save point. I'm saving up here. Gotta save. I'm not going to go through that door. Instead. Dead. At least I could, I, I could resume up here. Shit. Just fall down. 
There we go. Come on up. There's a contract over here. What's over here? You get jewels. Gold. Last minute shopping session right here. Some jewels. Nice. Playing this in OG hardware? Yes. N64. Fail Caras. Yeah, at least I saved. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to use I'm going to buy the I'm just going to buy stuff with this. If I have to fight the guy who cares, at least we'll figure out how to fight him. So 4600. Let's buy a bunch of roost chickens. Yeah, just use the roast chickens. That's the best way. That way. I'm almost certain this is like the last like straw. This is like the final area. Come on up. There you go. Save. Yep, I'll take the white jewel. Yes, please. Data save. Alright, go in there. Use clock tower three. Where does this take us? Full health. Nice. Where do we go now? Oh, look at this. The tower. Ready to fight Dracula. Oh, look at this. Secret. I found a secret. It's a secret. Alright, what's up here? I thought there was a secret up here. Why'd I go up here? Found a wall chicken, yeah. Yoshi. Tower 3 has been used. Go through there. Wall chicken. So what was the point of going in there? Like, I could climb up there. There's no Yoshi up here, though. There's, there's definitely something up there. Uh, it's got to be like a secret. Because I know right before you fight Dracula in any Castlevania game, there's like something, there's something hidden. I think there's like a wall or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up one more time. I just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a careful eye, to see if there's like a hidden path or something. Is there a platform down here? Nope. Ah. What's your character's name? It's not. It's uh, Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Hard it. All right. If I go, ooh, something's down there. Okay. Here. No, nothing's there. Hey, Del, welcome on in. How you doing? So if I go, looks like there's a, there's something over there. I could like, I could run over. Let's see, is there like a platform anywhere? Is anything hidden over here that I missed? How about over here? There's something over there. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. There's actually a platform over here I could run off to. I'm gonna take it. Nope. So it doesn't matter. It must. There must be something though. But I'm not. I'm not even gonna waste time on it. Da -da, da -da, da -da. There's definitely something there, though. Climb up. Oh, 
a local retro re reseller message you today if you got a huge collection of games. Prepare your wallet. Nice. What's in here? How? What's in this room? What is in that room? Who do we fight? Boss? I have been waiting for this. At last, we reached the climax. I have come to take my leave. Oh, we gotta fight this guy. We spent too much money from him. News has arrived of an impending global war. The death of a millions is wonderful, a wonderful business opportunity. I must be gone. We shall not meet again. Oh, we don't fight him. Never mind. He just disappears. Not during your lifetime anyway. Alright, so we don't fight him. That's good. Wouldn't mind getting Castlevania on Game Boy Advance or Metroid Fusion if he has it. Yeah, I want to. I really want to get Metroid Fusion. Got all this equipment to play Game Boy Advance now, so I should. I should totally invest in it. All right, so no more Renan. He's gone. Renan Stimpy. We'll call him. Oh, can I jump up here? I feel like there's something up there. Yeah, this is yeah. That's this is where you fight Dracula. Climbing all the way to the top. It's Dracula time. Is this a Dracula fight? What is this? This looks like another arena. Nope, we got more. <laughs> more stairs. I don't know what the point is of this room. Like, is there something in this room? Like, I feel like you're supposed to fight somebody in here. And you have to do something. We heard you like stairs. Hey, Thorin. Welcome on in. The stairs, yeah. The only thing that makes you want to hold... As Nintendo's been tweaking a lot of Metroids. Yeah, they actually, yeah, you never know if they're gonna release a, like a compilation or something. It's going great, Thorin. Welcome. I'm doing good. Oh. I think you could jump up here. Dracula's trolling me. Look at that. I think I found a secret. Oh, yeah, I found a secret. What's this? What is this? It's a red jewel. Okay. Oh, invisible. What is it? Oh, nice. A healing kit. Look at that. That's interesting. I. That is crazy. They did something. Even a, G a Game Boy Virtual Console than the Switch. Yeah. That would be really neat if they pull that off. Sweet. Let's go fight Dracula. I think this is the Dracula fight right here. Castle Keep. Yeah, let's save here. There's a white jewel. We wish to save to this point. Yes, please. Data saved. Let's go fight Dracula. Dracula time. Dracula fight. Hmm. Dracula's not in there. Where is he? Hmm. Where is he? Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Worm, you dare oppose the power of darkness. Is it death you seek? Dracula. Ah, oh, he looks old. No one suspects the cloud. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got now? Da, 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 
As you wish. Come. I will tear you limb from limb. Cool. Alright, let's go fuck up Dracula. It's definitely gonna be multiple forms, I, I could tell. Oh shit. If you get too close, he uh oh. Do I turn into a vamp? Yep, I'm a vamp now. Purifying, use it. There we go. Shit. Ah, oh, snap. Okay, hold on, hold on. Item. Let's get a roast chicken. So I gotta master his fight here. I'm gonna hold the R button. Ah! Okay, hold on. Oh shit, can I throw- There you go, got another one. Is there something in here? Is there any, like, hidden items in this, like, area? Anything in here? Ooh, I can hit him from here, I think. Ooh. I think I could hit him from behind here. Let me try that. 50%. I can hit him from behind his coffin. Interesting. Okay. Nope. No, it specs the butterfly. Okay, item. Roast beef. Use it. Da -da -da -da. I gotta get good with this boss fight here. Hold an R. You have to jump and whip him. That's always gonna be a pain. There you go. Got the halfway point of him. Damn it! Now I'm a vamp. Eh. Item. Purifying. I'm definitely not gonna win this fight. But I wanna see if how far I could get at least. Gotta get him down. So if you hit him before he attacks you, he disappears, so that might be... Yeah, just hit him before he attacks you, then he won't attack. Good strats, yeah. Okay, item. I'm gonna run out of it items here. I have one more healing item, though. No, 
Nice. Get in there. Damn it! No! Ah! No more purifying. I lost. Dead. Hey, I'm Rabbit. Well, come on in. Uh, no more. I can't heal when you're a vamp either. It's over. As soon as you turn into a vamp, you're you're basically fucked. Unless, does it wear off? Actually, hold on, hold on. It's not over. Item, healing kit. That restores your status. Yes. Reload my save. Yeah, the fight's over, basically. I'm not gonna wait there and get killed. <laughs> That's gonna take a while. Load up. Stage 10. <sighs> Annoying. Okay. Alright, so run in. Save. Hold R. That's one. There you go. Hold R. Shit. There you go. Just hold R. I realize Jack Dracula's two stories tall. Hey, Greco. Oh, come on in. How you doing? There we go. Stand back. Oh, get up. Stay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Item. Roast chicken. Do it. Is this a fun game? I thought this was pretty fun. I mean, it's not over yet. Still got some ways to go. Definitely got ways to go, but we're getting there. There we go. Back out. Better than Soma Cruz one? <laughs> I don't know. That fight was pretty easy. It took like one... That wasn't so bad. Uh. Oh, shit. Okay, got halfway done. Oh, damn it. I'm a vampire now. Oh, and every time he does that, he regains his strength. I just realized that, too. He's a roast chicken. Get out of the way. Get him with one of these. Nope. Ah, fucking did it again, shit. Item. One more purifying. I'm gonna use it. That's one. Nope. One. Uh. Hold on, hold R. There you go. Alright. Go item. Roast chicken. Do it again. Okay. So we have a roast beef and a healing. You hit him. Oh, 
There you go. Almost there. There we go. Gotta get the hang of it. There we go. Getting there. Run away. Just run away when he does that. There you go. Almost there. Don't mess this up. Shit. Got him. Almost there. Almost. Oh, oh, fuck. Almost. 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 Hang on. Almost. He kept trolling me. He's trolling me very hard. Alright, item. Roast beef. Use it. Used all these healing items. And I wasted them all. Almost there. Where is he? One more. Here we go. Ah! That should have killed him. 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 Got him. Erg. Erg. Is he dead? Uh oh. Is it? Er. Er ha. Ah. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha. So you thought you had won? Of course I did. To save the world is not so simple. Miserable creature, how dare you oppose my evil might? Darkness will rule. Die, weak fool. That rhymes. Ho, 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 ho. Hold a Ganon. <laughs> what do we got now? Second form. What is he? What is he now? Creature. What is this now? What are we now? Uh oh. Ooh. What is this? Oh, he just leaves? The Wait, that's it? It's over? No, it's not. What? No, you don't think so? <laughs> oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Get, get me excited and get me worried and get me excited. All right. I, let's, I, I think there's another form. This is just the transition. Oh, he, run, he runs away. Over the save point. He runs out of here. Oh, you know what? Remember that elevator at the beginning? That's probably where we, where we have to go next. That's probably where we fight him. Right? We're wrong. What's this? Runs out of the way. Good luck, have fun, don't die. Bells us. Ooh, who's that? Who just whipped me? Oh, is that? Is that the boy from the beginning? Oh, it's the boy and his dragon. <laughs> okay, he like stopped us. Nope, this is why that elevator's there. Played Silicon Valley. I have that game. That's one of the very few games that if you play with the, the expansion pack, it crashes in the beginning. You have time to fight this guy. Ooh. What evil is this? 
It surpasses even the funk, the foul aura of Dracula. Malice, what are you? Dot, 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 dot. Oh boy. You have destroyed my servant. I did not expect such power. Oh! He, Dracula answers him, enough, now you face the Dark Lord himself. What? Not Dracula? You. The Dark Lord? Oh no. Ooh, this is Dracula's final form. This is the final boss right here. Plot twist, yeah. Hey, JR, well, come on in. Oh, gosh. Dark Lord Bezos. Oh, boy. What the hell is this? Whoa. It's a giant, tall, Speedo Dracula? It's Speedo Dracula from Dracula X for Super Nintendo. Imbecile. You thought you could defeat me. I waited only to escape. Regain my full power. Now it will crush you. I, Dracula Vlad Tepes. Slaves, welcome to the return of your master. You have killed my servant, the guardian of my sleeping spirit. Now after a hundred years, I return and bolt in the body of the child. I never dreamed it would last so long. Ah, oh, the wasted years. I live again. Miserable worms, your white rightful lord has returned. Oh, he's handsome. I will wrap the world in a darkness and crush all to my will. On your knees before the might of Dracula. Oppose me and die. I love these words. Sexy Dracula. All right, how do I fight this guy? Let's see. Let's see. Let's try to understand his pattern here. Okay, hold on. Hold R. Battle view. All right, okay. There you go. All right, so you just whip them, right? Just whip them. They would give you an option of joining it or not at the end. Say yes cuts to a different ending. Oh, really? Pay him tribute? Shit. Shit. <sighs> Come on. So, okay. I think the real enemy here is this camera. It's not necessarily... It's not necessarily the... Um, this is the sun card. It's not necessarily the... not necessarily Dracula himself. It is, in fact, the camera. The camera sucks in this game. The camera absolute is the worst enemy in the game. I'm convinced. Oh, piece of meat. Okay, so you whip the, the light, you get meat. Okay. Interesting. And then it gets harder as you go. Roast beef, power up. Okay. I dig it. It's like trying to figure out where he's go gonna go. That's is the tricky part. Okay, hold on. He gave me two health items. I'm gonna use it. Roast chicken. Actually, maybe yeah. Roast chicken. Use it. Okay, Dracula controlling the camera. He is. He 
he is controlling the camera. Weird. There we go. Shit. Okay, so halfway there. Stay right there. All right, hold an R. You gotta like guess where he's gonna pop out of. Like, is he gonna go that way? He's going that way. Yeah, it, okay. Luckily there's no time limit. You just have to guess where he's gonna pop out of and hit him. He's right there. Where is he? He's gonna come this way. Shit. Hang on. Item, item. <sighs> Roast beef. I don't have a healing item. Did he take my healing item? That him right there. Nice. I'm almost there. Shit. Okay. Nothing. No health item. No health item. I'm about to die. Ah! Almost got him. Okay, good. He managed to disappear. Oh, if you slide under him. Interesting. You could, okay, if you could slide under him in time. Oh, firewall. Shit! How did I know he was gonna do that? Now we gotta do that again. We gotta do the first form of Dracula again. <sighs> all right, at least we know how to fight th this form. I'm skipping all cutscenes. Stand back. Stand back. Just hit him and go. Ah, get up. And back. Just duck. Hit him and duck. Stand away. Just hit him and go. Shit. Uh, one more. Go. Nice. We're almost there. Almost there. 
duck. That's all right. Nice, almost there. Almost got him. Almost got him. Oh, most. Duck. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, hang on. Damn it, he gets refilled. Come on. Item. Purifying. Use it. Okay. Roast chicken. Take it. Come on, get up, you asshole. Duck. Couple more hits. There we go. Go this way. Nope. Nice. Come on. Come on, where are you? Duck! Ah, he got me. Fucking asshole. Uh, vampire mode. Item. Give me a purifying. Last one. Give me a chicken. Get, give me a chicken. Here we go. Any more fucking purifyings? Oh, how do they expect me to do this? Item. Yeah, I gotta use my healing, my healing kit. Ugh. Just when I got really close to him, I could have. Oh gosh, this is annoying. Wait. How the fuck did I just die? I used the healing kit. And I just died instantly. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was on the roll in the beginning. I, I gotta I gotta stay in that groove. Just keep whipping them. There you go. You gotta make sure your whip lands on them too. Shit. Ah. ah, come on. Uh, and now we. Yep, fuck that. I already used the healing item. It's not worth doing that. When you die that soon, load game. So fucking annoying. Stage 10, do it. All right. Now I can't get back to the second form. Fuck did I just do? I accessed I accessed the secret menu by hitting reset on my N64. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dracula. One. Come on. Of course, I got hit. 
too. Three. Ah, I still got hit by that. Normal view, battle view. <laughs> Hold R. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There you go. There you go. Come on. <sighs> okay. There you go. Halfway there. Stand back. Oh, it almost got me. All right, hang on, hang on. Z, start. How you doing? Uh, roast chicken, take it. Go, 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 go. Stand back. Oh, you asshole. Okay, I got him at least. What? Dude, that, how did that not get him? Item, purifying. Use the beef. Use the beef Wellington on him. Item. Gotta use my roast chicken. How am I not? How am I fucking up so badly right now? I'm just gonna get him with the crosses. Fuck you, you piece of shit! Oh my gosh, so fucking annoying. Sorry guys, if I'm raging your heart, I should not be getting killed this early. I should be getting killed on the second form. Oh man, I don't wanna like lose all my like healing items on the uh, at the beginning. Hit him, you gotta be like accurate. There you go. Two. There you go. Alright, that's expected. If you get hit there, that's not a problem. No! Okay, he almost got me that time. <laughs> I got him. There we 
There you go. Got him. Sweet. Hey, Gamer Jam. Welcome on. I've been meaning to try this one out. Is it as bad as everyone says? Well, it's not bad. It's just, it's just unfair. I think people associate unfair with bad a lot, and they think bad is unfair. It's not a bad game by far. It's just very unfair, I think. That's that's what a lot of people... It's pretty good. I like it. Despite me throwing the controller at the uh, the game a lot. There we go. A little bit of health left. I can do this. There we go. We could do this. Come on. Got him down a little bit. There we go. Took damage. Damn it. A little bit. I think that's like two more hits we can get him. One more. Got him. Finally. All right, skip this part. Can I? I can't go back in there. Oh. <gasps> I almost fucking died, shit. So you could fucking die on that part, shit. Okay, item. Roast chicken. Used it. Okay, good. Okay. Now we gotta fight his second form. I don't know if there's another form after that. I mean, we'll find out. There might be one last form. And it... Like, is there a save point in one of these houses that you go into? <gasps> You could die on the cutscene. <laughs> you could die on the cutscene. Now I gotta do the Dracula fight all over again. You could die on the cutscene. I had to go, I had to run to the bathroom. Suspense was getting to me. One. I gotta do this fight all over again. Battle view. Now I'm getting mad. There you go. Here we go. So there's no there's no punches. You could die on the cutscene, get into the second form. You have to like run down, there's no save points. I was like, oh, is there a save point down there? Nope, just keep going. I'm doing, doing better. There you go. Hang 
hang in there. Where are you? Slide. Ooh, that's fine. That's okay. Duck. Uh, item. Nope. Roast chicken. Use it. Almost got him. Almost. 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 Slide. There we go. Hang in there. Uh. Nice. Okay. Hang in there. Any more? So, ah. Okay, get away. Get the hell out of there. Gotta get some sleep early morning. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for stopping in, Six String. Appreciate it, as usual. I can't believe this stupid Dracula fight. I mean, I, I beat him before. Now I'm having like a hard time beating him. All right, I got him, two more. Ah, Dave, of course, of course I fuck up. Oh, I'll just throw a cross at him. I'll just throw a fucking cross at him and everything will be okay. Use it. Damn it, get out of there. Come on. There we go. Come on, where are you going? You son of a fucking bitch. I had him too. I fucking had him. All right, two more hits. This could, this isn't over yet. One more hit. Ah, you. One more hit, I had him. I fucking had him. Item. I'm just gonna use my healing kit. I had him. I fucking had him right there, too. Now I got like five more hits on him yet. Two more. One more. No pu no no shortcuts. No shortcuts. Just take him out. One more. Don't throw the axe at him. No shortcuts. Just just whip him. And of course, the last fucking hit. He he doesn't go down that easy. Of course, the last fucking hit. He wouldn't he won't work. There you go. He's dead. Finally. All right. Don't use any items. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. So before I got back up here, I tried looking around, which was a big fatal flaw. I thought there was like a save point or something, which very foolish. At least I got my, I got my uh, things. Yeah, I beat him. Um, okay, I'm skipping that because I did that already. I got to keep going through. Yeah, there's no save points after that. That's it. You go fight the guy. Yeah, so I died. Like, the second time I beat Dracula, first form, um, on that cutscene where you gotta run down the stairs, I stopped to look around, and I died right there. It was really ridiculous. That's one. Okay, where'd you go? 
Oh, nice. I got two hits off of him. Where is he? Oh, snap. Well, at least I got health items. Oh. Roast chicken. I'm taking that chicken and I'm using it. Use the chicken. Probably shouldn't have used that health kit. Oh, shit. Halfway done. Uh-oh. Run away, run away. So, okay. I know that move now. Okay. Keep whipping him. Nice. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Keep whooping them. Got him. Got him. What happens now? <laughs> is there a third form? If there is, I got health items. I'm ready for anything right now. for the GG's. Boom, wait, no, I beat him. Wait, did I? Or did he just teleport? And that's it. No, there's more. <laughs> oh. Sinister music. Is this the little boy? It's the little boy. Where am I? What has happened to me? Uh You cannot deceive me. You cannot deceive me. Uh-oh. <gasps> uh-oh. Ah. Uh-oh. Vincent the vampire. Ha. Your appearance does not fool me. Do you still not understand? This child is not is really Dracula. Ha! Try to stop me, will you? Uh-oh. Miserable human scum. How long do you think you can oppose me? Very well. Prepare to cower before the true shape of- It is a foul form. Dracula. Oh, gosh. Oh, we got health items. Let's see here. Health items. What is the true shape of Dracula? What the hell is this? Desert? Mm, desert. He was just fooling around up until now. Uh-oh. Oh, what the hell is this? He turned into a desert. Yeah. Okay. What the hell is this? Excuse me. Oh. Whoa, it's a fucking final boss fight. All right. No punches. The final form of Dracula, he's a fucking beast. All right, how do I fucking kill this guy? We gotta, we gotta understand his patterns. Trogdor, the Burninator. All right, what do we got now? The giant centipede, human centipede. You ever see that movie, Human Centipede? It's a sick movie. Don't watch it. How do I fight this guy? Yep, you whip him. I got it. Ugh. Okay. Shit. Okay. Hang on. Start. 
item what we got let's use the roast chicken yo zombie paper will come on in buddy happy venia thursday figured out the strategy so quickly just gotta whip them ah. so you gotta hit him and go So you just gotta hit him and go, right? You get him with the whip. For little minimal damage. Alright, so how much? So you could run all the way back here. Nice. Centipede Dracula. Whoa, what am I supposed to do? Oh, get now, nah, it's over. this for a while guys this is gonna be a long night this is gonna be a long ass night this is gonna be a long night hit him in the head like every dracula yeah how one how that's two three Four, five, six, seven, 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 eight, eight. Nine, dead, nine, dead. Uh, he's right there. There we go. Ah! Mm. Rabbit, the camera's balls, yep. Take care, Matt, have a good one. I'm a vampire now. Purifying. Use it. There you go. That was bullshit. The camera killed me. Damn it. There you go. Halfway there. Nice. That was a good swing. Definitely a good swing. We'll do roast, roast chicken. Camera sucks. I hate this camera. I should have fucking got him. Ah. Item. Purifying. Use it. I can't use any more purifyings. There you go. Damn. I got him, though, right? Got him. Gotta use another roast chicken. I had chicken for dinner. It was good.
There we go. There you go. Got him. Shit. Start playing Mario Sunshine? Nice. Got him. That yeah, that camera's bad. Camera. These early 3D games, the camera sucks. Okay. Getting close. Come on. Give me a break here. Throw me a freaking bone here. Four more hits, I think. Or five. Uh, it's not so nice here. Okay, I need to use a chicken. Just in case I get killed here. Do I have another... Okay, that was a close one. He almost bit me. Like three more hits or something like that. We're almost there. You go back to Odyssey. Two. Two more, one more. got you though I don't have any more purifying do I I gotta have to use the healing kit waste of waste of, yeah waste the healing kit more hits. I have no more. If he, he bites me, that's it. Two more hits. Did it. Alright, I'm skipping the cutscene. His next form is kind of easy, kind of hard, kind of ridiculous. Kind of want to hope he gets, you get the, um, you get some healing items while you fight him. But the third form just fucking sucks. Maybe you're used to Odyssey. Oh, I see. Okay. The camera angle's probably better on Odyssey. That's why over here, they give you the option to go on this way. I see. Okay. All right. So this form, I hope I, I don't have any problems on this form. but whatever. I could duck and hit him, apparently. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, I need my healing items. Got more health than I do. Oh, piece of meat. I'll take it. There you go. Let's see here. Is he gonna spawn here? Yep. Okay, I need a roast beef. 
Use it. <sighs> Getting close to beating him, though. Come on, where are we? One more, or two more. Got him. All right, last form. Let's do it. Oh, snap. It's like a bomb that just fucking goes off. All right, item. Roast chicken. Let's use it. Sun card. Use it. I don't know if the if the sunrise does anything to him. Might it might. Phase two is much easier. Yeah, he dropped health items too, which made it bearable. You gotta stay away from that spirit bomb he throws. Huh, so he, he kneels down at you. Wow. Oh shit. Get behind you. He's got like a quarter, took a quarter of my health out. Two. Well, I could, good news is I could run away from him. Does that. That's a bomb that's gonna go off. Alright, run away, run away, run away, run away. He's gonna throw, yep. Throw sand in your face. Run away, run away, run away. I could go forward. Run, 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 run. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Shit, action view. It switches to action view. And then there's boss view. Oh shit. Mini nukes. Jump. Oh snap, he killed me. Okay, you can get up in his grill, hold R, and just keep whipping him. You gotta do it safely, though. Yo, Justin, welcome on in, buddy. How you doing? Is this Castlevania 69? 69, yeah, I think so. Hey, Justin. Okay. Battle view. There you go, that's one. Oh, damn it. Two. Where are you? Three. No, get up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight shit. <laughs> Fifteen. 
15. Duck. 15. 16. All right, I'm using a chicken. I gotta use a chicken, because I'm chicken. All right, here we go. Seventeen. Where are you? Eight. Oh shit. Eighteen. Nineteen. Stay back. Twenty. Nineteen twenty. Duck. Let's see here. Oh, shit. Come on, where are you? One more. Come on, let's go. Got him. Here we go. Skip this. Do all that. All right. Run. Run. Don't skip out. Run, 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 run. Come on. Come on, Reinhardt. Go. Come on. Oh, excuse me. Yes, I ate Korean barbecue for dinner tonight. It was really good. It was, I had something called a chicken bowl. It was really good. Made a bit. Yeah, I think that, that time I did a lot better for sure. Uh, as soon as I start the battle, I'm going to refill my health with some chicken. Chicken bowl. Item. Let's use roast chicken. And we got a healing kit. So, and we got the two purifiers, so we're good. I think we're sorta good. So, I think my tactic is, wait till he throws the spirit bomb, run up to him and just like hold R and whip him like twice and then run away on the third form. I'm gonna try doing that. All right, where are you? Sweet. Oh, there's a chicken right there. I'll take it. There we go. Some hits there. Nice. Get some hits. Okay. Right there. Take him out. Ah. That's fine. Took some damage there. Where the hell are you? Nice. I have like no health. I, I, or I have health. He's, he's got, I have took like no health off of him. Now he's going down. Okay, stay right here. Come on. Two quarters down. Get hit again. There you go. Get some health out. Stay right there. Oh, okay. Item chicken. Use it. Good. Get some health off. All right, let's see here. Where are you appearing? Right there. Shit. He is right. He's nowhere there. No health item. He's gonna go right there, right? Shit. Okay, roast beef. 
use it. Yo, Gabe, welcome on in. Roast beef, I'm using it. This is rough. This is a rough one. Come on, attack him. Come on. Oh, power up. Nice, and a power up. Good, good, good. Love your chicken grilled. I had some Korean barbecue today. It was really delicious. The chicken, amazing. Ugh. Damn. Is he gonna appear? Uh, where is he? He's gonna appear over. Okay, that was a close one. Just appear. It. I didn't even land a shot on. Piece of meat, some power up. There you go. I gotta jump and hit him. It's like I can't even land a shot on him anymore. Got him. All right, cool. So we're powered up. Let's go F up this boss. Let's do it. Okay, wait for, oh. Karen raid. Thank you so much, Karen, for the raid. Welcome, guys. Steve, Fraser plays final, final boss, Castlevania 64. We're here. Let's go. Let's do it. Thanks for the raid. Jump. Uh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Healing kit. Use that. Use that shit. Don't fucking die. Jump. Oh, jump. Ah, damn it. Ah, you fucking piece of shit. Item. Roast beef. Use it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I have no idea how to beat this boss. He throws the spirit bomb. Come back over here. Jump! Oh, I, 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 all right, cool. Let's see, what now, what does he do? All right, then these guys come out. I'm gonna run away from them. Oh, boss, bomb. All right, boss view. Jump! Nice. I gotta run away from these guys. Oh, shit. Run away from them. Run away. Run away. Bomb. Shit. Hold on. I'm not even gonna risk it. Roast chicken, use it. Dr. Birkenstein, welcome on in. How you doing? Wait. Use it. Go at it. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Hold R. Wait, hold fuck. Fucking get up here. Got him! Fucking A. <sighs> Doing good. I think I beat him. Did we beat him? <laughs> Thank you for the GG's. I think we beat him. Oh, damn. Buggy B, thanks for the GG's. I don't know if it's over yet. Let's hope. We could only hope it's over. 
and there's like a final, final form. I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? How many forms does this guy got? <sighs> Just gotta go Rambo style on him. Is there another form? Wait, he ain't dead yet. No, he's, he's shrieking. That means it's, yep, he's dead. I think we got him. Rambo games? Uh, no, I don't. I thought I had Rambo for NES, but apparently I don't. Oh gosh, we did it! I think we beat it. Oh. That's it. Thanks, thank you, GR. Thank you. Shut up. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Shut up. Hear it. Did you beat Resident Evil 2? Thank you for that read. Excuse me. I keep burping. I keep burping. The burps keep going on. Excuse me. I barbecue chip chicken. I keep burping it up. So good. Yep, I think we beat it. We beat the original and started a new run on the remake. Nice. Goody. You said you did Claire or Leon? Or did you, you did both? Frustrating. What a frustrating, frustrating game. <laughs> Is that it? Hey. A Pokemon transition there. And the castle crumbles. Leon, you're going to be on Saturday. Nice. That good, huh? Yeah. Oh, snap. Castlevania, Legacy of Darkness. Yeah, we're gonna pop that in next. Ugh, slapping my legs here. Thanks for the GG's Maestro guy. Yep, we beat Castlevania for the 64. Reinhardt story mode. Not doing carry, fuck that shit. Jumping right into Cornell for uh, Legacy of Darkness. After this. I think we'll play just for a little bit. Just get into it. Only took three hours. Tell me, will this struggle against Dracula never end? <sighs> Don't. Did it. First time I ever beat that. Carrie? You like Carrie? Nice. <sighs> that is terrible. There comes the rose. Is Rose alive? Or no, that's the Rose from Rose. Rose's spirit, I guess. Oh wait, no, she's get she she's she is alive. What? She she turns human. Oh, is that her? Oh, man. Sweet. It's Rose. She's a human. Reinhardt. Oh, Reinhardt. Oh, Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Oh, Reinhardt. A rose transform into a lady. Interesting. Oh, they lived happily ever after. There's a happy ending to this all. There's a... There's a... People's hearts are... Evil rises in Dracula. The fight between Dracula and humanity is endless. I know there's no way to escape this struggle against evil. Yes. That is the fate of humanity. Wow. Reinhardt. But we, are, we have faith in each other. And we have love. That gives us hope. And the strength to fight against... Das Path, it says those path. 
As long as we have hope, evil can never die. Evil can die. Reinhardt, will you marry me? Come, let's go home. Come, let's go home. Your family will be waiting for you. <laughs> and then the castle just sinks in the water. That castle looks so fake. It really does. It just looks so fake. <sighs> Get it? Beat Castle Main 64. I think it just says the end, right? Up oh, the camera's still panning back. Right off the cliff. Director, Yuji, Shibata. Yep, we beat the game. Did it. That was a good game. I liked it. There was a lot of frustrating parts in that uh, the Dracula fight was ridiculous. Um, the whole puzzle with the fucking wall you have to blow up, that was, that was really annoying. I couldn't stand that, but we got through it. Um... We got through it. Oh, man. Crazy shit. I'm just glad it's over. Fucking Dracula fight was ridiculous. So life is a never-ending fight against evil, and to keep not losing the struggle, you gotta have hope, yeah? Thanks for the nice run. Sounds... Yeah, pretty tough. Yeah. Well, welcome on in, everybody, from Kieran's Raid. You caught me during the final boss fight. I'm playing through all the Castlevanias, uh, the 3D Castlevanias now. Uh, we're gonna jump into Legacy of Darkness after these credits roll. Um, play Cornell's story. And then after, uh, after the 64 Castlevania games, we'll be jumping into the PS2 ones. Which includes Lament of Innocence and Curse of Darkness, so it should be good. Design staff. Tomohiro Morisawa. Nice. Kyo Ohashi. Help. Oh, oh, Ohashi. Kiko Ohashi. Nice. Ooh, some cat jams in there. So I wonder if we get anything after the credits. That's why I'm just waiting. Moto Aki Furakawa. Violin. There's one violin voice actor. Andrew Hankinson as Reinhard Schneider. Bianca Allen as Carrie Fernandez. Ha Harold Geard as Malice. Scott McCulloch. That's good narration right there. Video Samal Studio. Studio U. Studio U. Alright, what happens now? Illustration coordinator, graphic designer. Special thanks to Ryoko. Emma, can I, I can't hit skip. We're almost there. Illustrator, producer. So that guy, I think he worked on Circle of the Moon. Ibizu. Developed by Konami Computer Entertainment, Kobe Company, LTD Limited. Now, uh, 1986-99 Konami, all rights reserved. Okay, so what do we unlock? Did we unlock anything? It's gonna be like try carry storyline, and I'd be like, no, we're not doing that. Thin. All right, cleared save data. Yes, please. Did it. Special item one two saved. Starting the game with the file, you can select hard mode. Push 3D stick up to change Schneider's co oh costume. So we have a costume change and hard mode. I just want to take a look at that really quick. Start. New game. There's a hard mode. Hard. 
hard mode. You can change his costume, but you gotta hold up. No! Well, fuck that. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Hang on a second. Alright, so let's jump in. That was Castlevania 64. We're gonna pop in Legacy of Darkness now. So let me get this loaded up. I wanna make sure that this cartridge is clean. So let me, uh, let me get a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol. Q-tip and rubbing alcohol, honey. Got some some wish rubbing alcohol. Clean this cartridge, make sure it's good. Alright. I think we're set. Next slide. update the uh, Twitch title. Oh. So now we're going to play Legacy of Darkness. This is supposed to be slightly better than the original, so I'll be the judge. Button config. Type A. Sound mode. Stereo. Let's do it. Exit. Start it up. And I have a save already on here. All right, we're gonna be number four. We're doing this on normal. Let's play this as Cornell. We're just gonna play as Cornell. Here we go. Let's do it. Castlevania Legacy of Darkness hype. So now we're a werewolf. Let's see here. KC Kobe. Shigiharu Umizaki. Castlevania Lake. Oh, I remember this part. This was the that was the room where you have to blow up the wall. That level sucked. That level really, really fucking sucked. All right. I guess this is supposed to be Dracula walking all the way up the stairs, revisiting all the areas. Ugh. Excuse me. Yuji Shibata. Ooh, the sacrifice of Dracula. This is interesting. Death. So apparently this also this game also takes place, I think, 20 years before the original Castlevania 64, so it's a prequel. Ooh, they killed her. Now Dracula's alive. Resurrected. Resurrected. Dracula. Dracula.
Dun, 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 dun. What we got here? Flaming, burning, a burninated village. Oh, dead body. Skeleton, skelly bros, feeding the city. All right, let's go fight Cornell. Cornell, real American hero of Dracula. Here we go. Real American, I'd say real Transylvanian hero, I should say. He, he just like kicked the shit out of those skeletons. He's badass. Kia! Now he's gonna run. Is that an amulet or something? What is that? It's got a locket or an amulet. All right, now what? Cornell, also known as Blue Crescent Moon. Through magic of the ancients, Ooh. this man beast warrior obtained a I think this voiceover is this is, is a voiceover from uh, Symphony of the Night. Sounds very much like beast. Symphony of the Night. The man beasts. I think it's Alucard who did this voice. With humans, Go play Alucard. Robert Belgrade, I think. Magical powers Can't. To prevent them it sounds from being like him. However, through severe ascetic training, Cornell acquired the art for releasing Did he the, do the sealed uh, the man voice, wolf power. The voiceover, let me check this out. After a year of traveling Castle, and ascetic training, Mania, Cornell of rushed darkness, back to his village, only to find uh, that evil spirits voice. had set the village the on actor? fire, engulfing the village. Actually, no, in it's oh no, it's Scott McCulloch. Okay, never mind. It's the same guy from the original. His only living blood relative. Well, actually, His hold on. Ada Scott McCall was carried was, away is by he a the voice actor spirits. in Symphony of the Night? Now, he must save her. Cornell uses the man oh, wolf's he acute died. sense of he died smell in oh, to track the scent of his sister's blood. He Reinhard was in, Schneider. Uh, he was in Symphony Daniels. of the Night. Interesting. We go back eight Who did he play in Symphony in of the Night? Before the period in he which did Richter Belmont. Okay, I knew he, I knew he sounded familiar. Battling against the devil. Did he? I think he also did now, the voice. The truth that has been shrouded um, in the gloom of darkness will be revealed. Hmm. I think he did the voice of somebody from uh, the other game. Did he do the gun gauge? No, that's somebody else. I'm thinking a gun gauge for the. PlayStation. There's a narrator. It sounds also just like him. Okay, so now we're going to the ghost ship. Hmm. All right. Sounds like the narrator from Soul Cal games too. He might have been in there. Okay, so, so Foggy Lake. Okay, so it's the same control scheme from the original Castlevania 64. I think the camera they did a little bit better, a better job. You can move it around with the D-pad, so that's that's an upgrade for sure. You can still hold R for like the lockdown. Get some jewels. Got a farm for jewels, I say. Attack this guy. Attack him. Oh yeah, melee him. There we go. All right, so what does that do? It does. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so that platform appears. So I've beaten this game before, so I wouldn't say that this is a first playthrough, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it is technically a first playthrough because the first time I ever played it, I did it on easy. But this is the first time I'm doing it on normal, so this is technically still a first playthrough. So here we go. New, new, new Castlevania game. 
New engine. Let's do it. Come on, climb up here. Oh, snap. No, 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 no. Don't you, don't you run away. Oh, fuck. Don't you, don't you fade out. Ah, the fucking jewel went away. Right, is there a jewel in there? There's a red jewel in there. So there's a save point right here. Let's save here. Yes, I'd like to save up. So this is pretty much the same game with the face left. Would you like to ro rotate the mast? Yes, please. Red jewels. Remember, I used I watched the review of JonTron. Uh, JonTron did a review of this game. Camera's already looks like an awful aspect of the game. I, I disagree. I think the camera is a lot better. You can actually move it with the D-pad. It's a little bit better. But yeah, I was saying, I, I remember JonTron did a review of this game. He was talking about this level in particular. How it made no sense. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. When we get up there. You see a device for rotating the mast. Do you wish to rotate the mass? Yes, please. So this level makes no absolute sense. At first, I kind of agreed with him, but then I realized... Um, actually, it does make sense, because he says, like, what's the point of the boat if the boat sinks and you, like, don't need the boat anymore? Well, the boat is, su is supposed to take you to Dracula's castle, JonTron, and by destroying the boat, you've reached your destination. Anyway, but it's still funny. Deck key, got the deck key. But I know that was your first, re your first time reviewing on YouTube. Okay, so there we go. So now we open the door with the key. Actually, before we do it, fuck this guy. Oh shit. There we go. Fuck them all up. All right. Give me my battle view. Give me my knife. A level one knife. Okay, open the, the door. Deck key has been used. Perfect. There's a save point in here. Yeah, so I like to save up to this point. Yay. Ooh, I'm already getting killed. Now what? Oh, shit. There's a power up in here. Power up. Sweet. Take that. What is that? Money bag. 300 gold. Boom. Anything up here? No, there's nothing. Alright, so I, I I still have the inventory system, the roast chicken. They did the the menu is is a slight facelift from the original. Still this, you know, pretty much the same game, nonetheless. Okay, let's see. Gonna fight these two guys. Oh, shit. And I think if you tap L, you turn into... You turn into the werewolf. Which is pretty cool. Heading to bed. Thank you, Reko, for stopping in. Have a good night. Ooh, turn back into this. So, the werewolf shoots. Nighty night. Yeah, nighty night. Thanks for stopping in. We're gonna have an N64 uh, variety stream tonight, uh, tomorrow night. If you're interested, Reco, just letting you know before you head off to bed. So it'll be at the same time I usually stream, 9:30 p.m. Eastern. So let's see here. Boom! Ooh, shit! What the hell is? Ooh, is this a boss fight? It's a crab. Or a monster with arms. Oh no, the ship's filling up with water. What are we gonna do? What games am I playing tomorrow? Uh, basically every single N64 game that I feel like playing. So that includes GoldenEye N64 version. I'm definitely gonna play that. I don't know how much I'm gonna play. Uh, maybe F Zero, F Zero X. That's a fun game. Um, I think I have Smash Brothers. I have the Jack. I have some Japanese versions of the of these games. 
play a couple of those. I don't know, if I'm feeling up to it, maybe I'll do a 120 star run of uh, Super Mario 64, but we'll be here all night. <laughs> Even though I could do it. Um, all right, so we jump over here. Nice. I'll probably have to do that and split that up in, a, in several playthroughs. I have a shit ton of N64 games, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of everything. Maybe some Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire. I could probably beat that. Good time. Goldeneye, I could definitely beat. Goldeneye, I could definitely beat in one night. That's a fun game. I could beat that in like two hours on Agent. Secret Agent is a little bit trickier. And the, the, the thing is about Goldeneye on the N64, when you first play that game, a lot of people play it wrong. And what I mean, like, they play it wrong, like, they use the control stick to move. You're not supposed to use the control stick to move. You're supposed to use the control stick to aim. You use the C buttons to move. So you gotta go inside the menu and change the controls to Turok style controls. And that's how you play. That's how you, that's how you're supposed to play um, Goldeneye. And, you know, I, I was, I, I was fooled by this too. And once you change the game to Turok style controls, the game is so much easier and manageable. It, it's like you're as if you're playing a first person shooter that's like on PC. Oh shit, that's not a death, is it? I, I, I ain't taking that. I ain't taking that shit from nobody. Got him. Nice, and I didn't have to um, use health because I'm gonna get a health refill anyway. Yay. And then JonTron's like, what's the point of the boat? I'm like, whatever. So now I, I get to refill my health. Thought he was a health item. Yay, he did it. Forest of Silence. So this is where you're, this is where you originally start the game. Uh, on the N64, regular N64 version. So this is like a nice little, you get an extra level at the beginning. Game's sort of the same as the N64 version, but uh, of, six, of Castlevania. Slightly better. Slightly upgraded. Oh, that's another upgrade too. So when you clinch onto platforms, you don't have to hold up. You hold the direction where you're facing. Before, on the regular N64, you have to hold up to climb up. And that's a... That's a that's a pretty good upgrade, I gotta say. That was that was really shitty, what they were doing there. Let's read that sign. Anything? Can we read? Root. It just says route. There we go through the forest. Alright. What is this? Break that seal. Alright, do we have to fight a boss behind this door? Like before, or...? Yep, just like before, we have to fight. It's the same boss. Okay. Come on, take that guy out. Come on, keep attacking him. Hold R. Yeah, just fuck him up. Fuck him up. But yeah, Gold Knight, Gold Knight is a good game. That was my childhood favorite. I, I mean, I'm sure it was everybody's childhood favorite growing up in the 90s, especially if you grew up on 64 games. That was a fun game. It was hard. Some segments were like hair pulling, like the, the control stage where you have to uh, protect Natalia. Uh, I think any stage where like that involves an escort mission where you have to protect someone is a pain, but... Man, when she's on the computer working and everybody comes down at you and just attacks you all at once, it's it's brutal. Very brutal. Did I get him? I think I did. All right, I think he runs off. He does. He had a cardboard divider taped to each screen for multiplier. Oh, nice. 
so you can't see the, that that that's clever i gotta say and then in, yeah multiplayer as a child i never got to experience that much because i only had one controller i'd have to go over my friend's house which wasn't that wasn't like every day i would go over his house um but when we did we did goldeneye and multiplayer and that was fun so I never got to experience it at home because, you know, I only had one controller. And if I had another controller, you know, who am I going to play with? My sister? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> They're like, hey, this isn't Mario. We're not playing this. Mario wasn't even in multiplayer back then. Five hundred gold. Can we break this open? No, we can't. Sweet. Cure ammo, ampole, ampoli. All right, let's go this way. All right. The mechanism to open the grating. Oh, op operate the mechanism. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right. That opens the door. Cool. Oh, we got to fight. Oh, I remember this guy. We fought this guy in the in the the tower. Um, it was like a tower of something. The tower of um, the dual tower. We fought this guy, and I remember. Got him. Just call him the Cheetah Man. Su Super GF God. Good game, roll. Come on in. How you doing? Having four controllers can make you pretty popular back in the day. Yeah. You know, I remember. Oh, I remember back in the day, I remember they had the multi-colored, uh, all the different color N64s. I used to think that was pretty silly. I'm like, oh, who would, who would want to get an orange N64 if you already have a 64? Or a green N64 or yellow. And like, I didn't, I was like, I didn't, get, I didn't understand that. But like, looking back on it, I'm like, okay, if you collect multi-colored consoles, it would make sense. And it would be, you know, there's some char charm to them. Um, never got to play Pokemon Stadium as a kid. I played um, Pokemon Snap. I like, po I actually like that game. Take pictures of Pokemon, and then if you had a had a Blockbuster account, you could take the pictures, the memory card to a kiosk, and get them printed out. I never, never had a Blockbuster membership. No. I didn't have a Blockbuster membership as a kid. No, we, we went to a place called Dollar Video, which was a mom and pop video rental store. And the only video games they had for rent there was like Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. That is all. That was the only systems that you were able to rent. Can I jump down here? Yes, I could. Oh, okay. So this is a puzzle you gotta do with the, um, the switches. I see. Kind of sucks. All right, so I hit the switch. You know, I should probably hit this switch last because I have to run up to the. Yeah, I gotta run up to them. Hit this switch first, then hit the other switch, and I should be able to run right up to it. Ooh, flashy! Hit the switch. Okay, so if we go, go this way, run and jump, climb up, run and jump, and run and jump. Nice. Let's see here. Oh, the tree fell down. Okay, so we hit this button. Yes, I'll save for this point. I believe there's a secret passageway in this level that's only in this version of the game. It's not in the regular 64 version, and you don't find out until you play as a sec as another character that there's a secret in this level. But uh, I kind of remember it, so I'm gonna I'm sort of gonna cheat if I can pull it off. It's basically a breakable wall somewhere. Okay, so we have to go back down through here, get the power up, fall down. Yeah, they make these platforms spread out this time, which is pretty good. One of these walls is breakable, and you could like, it, it takes you somewhere. So you don't have to, like, go anywhere, and it saves time. Come on, go that way. 
I think it's right here. Ah, fuck. I missed the jump. That's all right. Continue. Previously saved stage. So wait, I hit the switch, right? No, I didn't. I have to hit it. And of course, you know, I also have the Mar I have one Mario Party game. It's Mario Party One with the, you know, the you you have to like rotate the the, the control stick multiple times to like stay on the raft. That was annoying. And then there's the mini game that was completely optional. How many times you could rotate the stick? within like 30 seconds to like make the plane fly if you made the plane fly, fly the longest you get like a high score or something then i i wonder if anyone remembers game shark for like the n64 remember being kick-ass like having a game shark when i was young and I used to cheat all the time. Like, Goldeneye, that's how I was able to play uh, to unlock the Aztec missions in Goldeneye. I, I did legit beat Goldeneye on Agent when I was young, but um, to do that again on Agent was just hard. Uh, recently, I did it on Agent. It was pretty tricky. Double O Agent's pretty insane. You have all these objectives that I'm, like, not used to, like, playing. Like in the in the facility level, um, you have to meet up with the scientist called Doctor David Doak, and he gives you he gives you a key like a decoder. Uh, there it is, secret right here. Gives you like a decoder that you use to open a door. Later, you know, to meet up with Alec Trevelyan. Kind of like in the movie. Um, he uses something on the door. See, I just took a shortcut. I took a pretty cool shortcut. I didn't know that existed until like later on in the game. Okay, so this opens up the door. And we could jump this way. Come on up. I think speedrunners use that trick. Oh, fuck! The guy just hit me from behind like a fucking pussy and, and made me fall into the water. Alright, where does this drop me? It drops me back here. I have to hit the switch. Hit start. Alright, save here. Yes, please. Gotta save. Here we go. Run and jump. Power up. There's some parts that where the camera still kind of sucks in this game. Climb up. Come on up. Alright, jump up here. Alright. Here we go. Here's where the secret is. There's a secret. Right here. Oh, you know what? I probably use I could use the secret to come back through here. Mechanism. Probably run back up. Ah, eh, no, I can't. Shit. The same fucking guy came out and got me. Got to do it again. Same fucking guy.
Come on, keep falling down. Keep falling down. Come on up. Come on up. Keep going. Come on up. There we go. All right. Come on up. There we go. All right. Get that. Get that. Perfect. All right, so when we come out of here, fuck! Ugh, why'd I do that? <sighs> jumped. I just jumped right out of there. I I didn't have to do that. Get the power up. Going too fast. All right, come back. Go 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 go. Ah. Okay. Come on up. Uh, yeah, hey, Tackful. Welcome on in. Yes, we beat uh, Castlevania 64. We're on uh, Legacy of Darkness now. I did Reinhardt's story. We skipped Carrie. Now we're just doing Cornell. Yeah. Oh, that last fight was bullshit. I was like, oh, you don't want to do carry? You don't want to do do? You want to you want to want to go? Th you don't want to go through that again? I mean, I guess I could go back through it again. As carry, probably wouldn't be as bad, but Reinhardt, that was that was freaking tough. I mean, that's like that's like saying, oh, should I go back and play Resident Evil as Chris? I probably should. Yeah, the games aren't that long. Um. Once you know where you're going, they're not so long. Um, the reason why I felt like it was long the other night is because I was stuck on that make a bomb stage. All right, so come over here, run that way, jump this way. All right, I'm gonna hit a switch. An enemy is gonna pop out of the swamp and try to get me. Let's see. Yep, right here. Let's hit him. You beat Lem Lemon of Innocence? Yeah. I'm actually going to jump into that when I'm done with this game. That's the next game, next Castlevania game or that I'm going to play after this. Looks great. Three stage. Yeah, Lemon of Innocence is, is amazing. Amazing soundtrack. And I believe, I want to say Ego worked on that one, but I, I could be wrong. I know he worked on Curse of, of, uh, Curse of Darkness. There's Legacy of Darkness, which is one I'm playing, and then Curse of Darkness. That's the that's the one that came out on PS2 and Xbox. I think it came out on Windows. Don't think he worked on it. I think he got a I think he got a credit though. He might have had a credit, like a special thanks. Because on the back of the box it says, "From the makers of Symphony of the Night." The same people that brought you Symphony of the Night made this game. So that doesn't necessarily mean that Iga made it. Here comes the boss. Yay, Skelly Bro back. Come on. Come on, get him. There we go, get him. Get him. Come on, get him. Hit him. Just chase after him, take him down. Yeah, definitely, yeah, next. Yeah, I beat the Game Boy Advance ones. If I wanted to do them in order, I probably would have... I, I, it's a weird order. I technically could, couldn't do it by release date, but... I think that was good, because I was going to jump into Lament after I did uh, Aria Sorrow, but... I felt like playing N64. So here we are. Here we are.
Come on, keep getting him. Come on, keep getting him. Shit. Dawn of Sorrow. I don't think Dawn of Sorrow, I don't think I'm gonna do the DS ones because I have no way of playing them on legit hardware. Unless the capture card ever comes out. I don't know. Might have to like break my oath and play it on an emulator, which heavily against doing on an emulator. Unless, unless there's a DS emulator for a console, like you, like play it on like OG Xbox hardware or something like that, or some sort of consoleized um, DS somehow. Somebody make can ever somebody ever made a consoleized DS? Maybe I could just do it like that. Drastic emulator and PS Classic. So that would kind of work. There you go. We defeated him. You're playing Chrono Trigger on it. Oh, wow. I wonder if I could pick up the piece of meat that he dropped. But yeah, I think after Lament, I'm going to do Curse of Darkness. Curse of Darkness will be the next game after that. And I've never played Cur Cur Curse of Darkness. I've never played it. I think I have the Xbox version lying around somewhere. But I'm pretty sure, worst case scenario, we'll just play it on PS2. Now I would say I play the Xbox version because Xbox is slightly better than the PS2 in terms of like lighting and textures, depending on how the game's coded. Hey, now we're about to enter the Castlevania gates. Shocked how drastic play those at full speed. Hmm. Xbox could have better fighting and textures, but it ain't PS2. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I say it has better lighting and textures because Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, you play those series on PS2 compared to the OG Xbox, OG Xbox wins. I guess because they couldn't program very well on the PS2. Now, who's this character? Who's this clown? Ortega. Even a man wolf is nothing but a trap dog in a cage. Ortega, you're okay. I saw the village after it was attacked. Your home was burned to the ground. Uh huh, I know. Are you really? Ortega? It has been one year since I lost to you. Huh? And Ada, why she has been really blossomed into a woman. What are you saying? She will be a perfect sacrifice to offer Count Dracula for these powers. Ooh, evil. Dracula? Don't be a fool. According to a legend, he won't come back to life for some time. Wait, you were one of the who got attacked in the village? Have you sold your soul to the devil? You will find everything out soon enough, Cornell. Soon enough. So, I think these levels are pretty much the same as... Oh, Ortega! The levels are pretty much the same as um, original Castlevania 64. With the exception... New characters, firmly shut iron door, won't with the relief of the sun. Sunlight reveals the seal. Okay, so these doors are both controlled by the moon and the sun. Not like the original. Castle wall. They are the same, they're lazy to redo them. Well the 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 forest of silence, that level was slut that, that that level was different than the original, for sure. Oh, snap. Okay, this level is definitely the same from the Castlevania 64 version. 
dead. Yeah, Chomp Chomp is there. They didn't change anything. Come on. There we go. Oh, they made this part a lot easier for sure. The altered places, of course, given happens eight years before Castlevania. Oh, so it's the same castle. It's kind of like what they did with Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. It's supposed to take place before the original Grand Theft Auto 3. So there's no tunnel in that game, in that version. If you remember playing that game, you go through a, a tunnel to go between um, maps, between different towns. There's no tunnel. So I never got far enough to see how far you can go. I think they used a bridge to get across because in GTA 3, uh, the bridge gets destroyed by uh, a bomb or something. There's a device for opening and closing the mechanism. All right. Yes, uh, operate the device. Yes, please. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. So I don't think the bomb making stage is in here. I think it's replaced with something else. I'm like breezing through this game because I know where to go. Okay. Safety save here. I think it's daytime now. Yeah, I'll save to that point. Oh, there's something over there. Piece of wall meat. Nice. Piece of candy. Anything in here? Fall down. Anything over there? Oh. Running jump. Da -na -na, da -na -na. There we go. Get the money bag. 300 gold. Nice. What's up here? Got ourselves a power up. Cool. Moon card. Level up the dagger. The knife. Fall down here. Something's up here. Oh, there's a key. Winch lever. Okay, so. Okay, so that the winch lever wasn't in the original. I don't think. Let's get the cross. We fall down here. We can take the sun. Curse of Darkness looks similar to Lament. Actually, no. They're 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 separate games. I think Curse of Darkness is more open world than Lament. Lament is more linear. Um, but it still has like you know, Metroidvania aspect to it. Like you could change which uh, which level to play. It doesn't have to be the same all the time. I missed a cross. Oh well. Oh, chomp chomp. Metroidvania completely, and it wasn't super linear. Yeah, it, yeah, it is, it is a Metroidvania. I mean. You have like the different stages that you could like pick the, that you could like start. You don't have to play them in order. Sort of has like a Mega Man like effect to it, but it is still a Metroid. Baby. You need certain um, abilities to get somewhere. Save here. Yeah, I'll save up to this point. Get the wall meat. I haven't had to use anything yet. Knock on wood. Boss time. Yay, boss time. Shit, shit. You even select the stage. You don't have to walk on a straight line. Yeah, I, I see. I see your side. Oh, there's jewels. Dead. We created jewels. All right, first, first death. Actually, not first death. Like, tenth death. Piece of, piece of roast chicken. Right, 
so hit. Attack this guy. Oh, I lost all my... Oh, that sucks. Come on, get out of the way. Come on, get up. Come on, get up, you. Item. Let's get a uh, roast chicken. Use it. Chris Darkness looks similar in terms of gameplay complex. Oh, that's what you mean. So, yeah. I, I see it. Okay, never mind. Yep. It, I got you. In terms of visuals, yeah. Come on. Come on, attack him. Cure. Get all these cures. Get them all. Attack him. Find a way to play Dawn. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm definitely going to do Curse of Darkness because I really want to play that game. So I figure I do them in some sort of order. After Lament, we'll do Curse. You must close all the eye... All the open eyelids. Use the... Okay. Use the winch... Yeah, okay, so you put the the winch there. That turn that opens the next door. Okay. Wait. Wait, that closes the door. You must close all the open eyelids. All the open eyelids. What does that do? Close all the open eyelids. It's like a, a riddle it got replaced with. I need to test to see if the other Castlevania DS games will run drastic full speed or not. Ooh. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see. Uh, I think I'm going to run to the restroom really quick. Let me put a beer right back screen up. Don't go nowhere. So there's like a puzzle we have to solve to get through here. White jewel? Yeah. It's the welcome backs. Alright, so let's see here. Go this way. Can't wait to be done with Crash 4. You beat, Cro beat Chrono Trigger on the DS. Nice. I gotta get into Chrono Trigger. I used to own the Super Nintendo version of the game. Uh, I sold it for another game, though. I think I got like a, it was like a Japanese Saturn import. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let's close all the eyelids. Okay, so... 
Okay, so I, I did I did something wrong. I closed the door. I should have kept that open. Crunch Trigger looks great in this nest. Has six art style. Okay. I actually have Chrono Trigger on the PS1. The it's the Final Fan Final Sa Final Fantasy, I think, anthology or the Chronicles. That includes, I think, the fifth game and, and Chrono Trigger. Or I think it was the fourth game and Chrono Trigger. One of those, I have, yeah, the PS1 version. Horrible port, yes, I agree. Load times. I actually tried to play one of those uh, Final Fantasy ports on that system. Um, when you go into the menu, sometimes when you go into the menu and you exit back out, you get corrupt graphics. They did a terrible job porting it. But hey, I have it. If I really want to play Final Fantasy V in English, I could do that. Like, if I'm gonna... Oh, shit. If I'm gonna play four, I'm gonna play Final Fantasy IV. If I'm gonna play Final Fantasy IV, I might as well just play the Super Nintendo version. Play two and three on the Super Nintendo. If I really want to play five, I'll probably play, like, the Game Boy Advance version. Watch that first step, yeah. Well, I'd rather fight this boss again because I didn't want to go through that again just to open. Hit start. Item. Chicken. Use it. Play the Game Boy Advance version. Don't play 5 on PS1 either. Horrible translation. I guess I could I could just play the Super Famicom version that's, you know, using one of the translation hacks out there. Cuz I have this special cartridge that like lets you like use the original cartridge, use the original Famicom cartridge. And um you could patch the ROM. It's the Super UFO 8 Pro. I have one. GBA version, yeah. yeah. The GBA version is good too, I guess. All right, so if I hit the the winch, that should open the door. Better uh, translation updated UI. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, like <clears throat> that closes the door. That closes the door. Hold on. So, wait. If I hit it... All the open eyelids. So, if I close... If I open the eyelid, what does that do? It does nothing. Oh. Interesting. So, you're supposed to close that. Most people think port in a SNES game GBA is a downgrade. There's nothing, it's not, it's wrong and nothing, yeah. Yeah, that's my, that's my thought, exactly. Like, going from SNES to GBA. But then, you know, think about it, like, the GBA is just like a, it's like a hyped up SNES. So in a way, it's kind of good. There's a certain charm to the Game Boy Advance. It's basically better in SNES hardware, yeah. I mean, the SNES, I like the I like the I like the the instruments on the Super Nintendo. I like I like the music. The music style that they use for the Super Nintendo compared to the Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance like has like this like reverb sound to it that just doesn't sound right, but Reason why music sucks, GBA is taking the output speed. Yeah, that's why. I guess that's true. Uh, makes sense. Um, let me use item. Roast chicken. Cartridge didn't have enough size. Yeah, that's true. Super Nintendo also has that that uh reverb okay i gotta use the moonlight stone moon card use it 
Can I go in there? Yay, I could. All right, so if I, I probably have to go back through here to open the door. Yay, I did this part already. I have to do it all over again for some reason. The GBA was really good. The, the, like, some of the ports they did for, like, the racing games, the Mode 7 just looked really good. Could we play the SNES version, instruments better, speaker emulator? Sound resolution patches are, and cartridges are a thing for four, five, and six. Oh, really? Oh, there's a patch? I didn't even know that. For the GBA. Oh, shit, I'm dead. Dead. Insta kill. Well, it's a good thing I saved. No, I didn't. <laughs> Alright, just fall down here. Alright, use the moon. In the name of the moon card, I choose you. You could. Interesting. I got the moon card. I have to go through this nonsense stage again. Da -na -na. I gotta say, the castle wall music in this game is really... I like this music. Really good. Stay right here. Jump. Jump. This part where I died. Oh, snap. Get back up. Run and jump. <laughs> nice. Falls apart. Go that way. Yeah, mid to the top. Okay, so what happens now? Should be able to open this door. Open the yep. Open it. Let's see what happens now. So this opens. It opens both doors. So you have to go through both sections twice. That's interesting. Instead of making an extra level, they that, that they added that in, the, in here. Make you go through this part two times. Interesting puzzle. Okay. I already see what's up there. Save up to this point. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to refill my health cuz I know if I just go to the bottom I just follow the bottom. It'll take me to the, uh... Oh, no, I lost the cross. If I just go through the exit, it'll just take me out of here. Get a purifying. Refill. Nice. I know it. Hey, Armored McCall. Welcome on in. How you doing? We finished Castlevania 64, and now we're on Legacy of Darkness. I think this is going to take us to the villa part. I wonder how much the villa changed. Do we have to fight anybody? Oh no, bit timed out. Oh, you must have posted a link. Sorry about that. They're related? Oh shit. I think so. I mean, this this take this game takes place like uh, 20 years, I think, before the original, or eight, or something. eBay link. Just send me a whisper with the link. That's all right. I I, I didn't mean for Nightbot to do that. It's understandable. I do that to combat spam bots. Final Fantasy uh, sound restore restoration cart. 
gotta fight more of these guys. Fuck. Hit scar item. I use the beef. This eh, just use the chicken. Why not? Shit! Get up. Serious image of chim a chimera guarding the mansion. Oh, interesting. Okay, so can I still get up here? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, we gotta fight somebody. Yeah, if, if I have the ever drive for GBA, I won't need it. Yeah, it makes sense because you're just patching the ROM. So carts are probably, you know, burned somehow. With like a ROM flasher. Purifying. Okay, so now. Sweet. Do, 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 do. Roast beef. Do item. Roast chicken. Use it. It's the villa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that I think that's what they do. Flashed them onto like a donor cart and just like maybe like a crappy game or something and they just like, all right, reflash it. Boom. Very simple process. Okay, so How do you look See the last playthrough this level? Is there a way to lower this fountain? Ooh. Here lies my wife, Mary. Hit the switch. Mary. Here lies my wife, Mary. Do I have to hit the tombstone? Ooh. Switch. Your life, Mary. The tombstone so damaged it cannot be read. Hit the switch. So maybe there's a way. Maybe these. I have to push these tomb. These buttons on the tomb. I think this is optional. I don't think I have to solve this puzzle. This one's Mary. What does this one say? Henry, hit the switch. Nothing is happening, okay. The power up. Mary, hit the switch. Hit the Henry switch. And if I hit the third switch over here, what does that do? Is there any more tombstones I could hit? There's one over here. Beneath the fountain are the stone pillar sleeps. The one who solves will be led to the top. Solves it. All right, so there's a puzzle we need to solve to get up there. So, Henry, hit the switch. Nothing's happening. Maybe we need to start on Henry. Start Henry. Start on Henry. Hit the switch. And then go to the mom. Or the wife. And then hit this switch. Nothing happened. Nothing. 
Nothing's happening. Okay. Holy water. Hit the switch. So there must be another tomb somewhere that I need to hit. Let me see if there's another tomb somewhere. Hiding. Hit the switch. There's a tomb up there. Hit the switch. Alright, so there's four tombs. So you have to hit them in order, I guess. Nothing's happening. Okay, so let's start with... Let's start with the, um... Can we read this tomb now? Can't read the tomb. Let's start with uh, Mary. Then do the leader. And then do Henry. Something tells me I need to I need to start with him last though. Then go to Henry. Nothing's happening. Okay, fuck it. I ain't doing this puzzle. That's a weird puzzle. You know, unless it is the it's the okay, it's the husband and the wife. And they have a son, the owner of the mansion. Mary, love its son. That did something. Yep, there we go. We solved it. Nice. Now, what's our re oh, what's a reward? The chicken. Can we get up here. Can we hit this light? What is this? The image of a rose is engraved on a stone on the fountain. Interesting. Okay, so that's how you get up that fountain. Alright, so let's go inside here. We open the door. So, in the original Castlevania game, you fought a vampire in here. Who do you fight over here now? I wonder if you have to, like, wait until, like, 5 a.m. to, like, meet with somebody. Like, you'd oh, what's this? Yep, you gotta fight this fucking vampire guy. Hope he doesn't turn. In, I don't turn into a vampire if I don't beat him. This guy sucks. Basically, is you get a you get a health bar. Yeah. Just. Yep, I turned into a vampire still in this game. There you go. All right, so I'll use my purification. There we go. Cool. Not too bad. More or less, this is pretty much the same game as Castlevania for the 64. What is that? I could actually open this door now. My jewel was saved at this point. Yes, please. Can I open this door? Okay, so before you couldn't even go into this door. Can you open this? You could open that gate. <laughs> Skeletons. Interesting. Uh, get the two golds and the money bag. Drop this. Sweet, pure fun. I really like this this projectile attack this guy's doing. 
three jewels. I seem to be unstoppable now. I know what I'm doing. Get that. Cure. Still got your slide. Slide maneuver. Oh, this guy's got a gun. Come on, pick that up. 100 gold. Keep going. Can I go through this gate? No. What about this? Worn away by wind and rain. The inscription is unreadable. Now, can I go through this door? I could go through this door. Can I go through this door? Nice. Ugh. All right, keep going. What is this? Mudman. The Mudman. They're here. What's over here? I don't remember going this way before. Side of the door. Iron thorn fence. The door is locked. When morning sunlight reflects over the red rose. Enclosed jewel will shall be set free. Poison. Let's use cure. All right. Let's use the sun. Sunrise. So that should open. Should open the door. Red rose, the red rose. Interesting. So you gotta solve a, a puzzle to get inside there. Oh shit. Two. Get that open. The maze. Pretty much the same like map from original Castle Maze for just different layout. Over here. Oh shit. Boom. Nice. Get the gold. Red jewel. What happens if I go in here? Anything? Get the key. Rose Garden key. Okay. So you could probably go back to the Rose Garden. Rose Garden. Is this the right key, though? Nope. Okay, so I think I know what the Rose Garden are talking about. It's the Rose Garden and the mansion. So you have to go all the way into the garden to go to the mansion. Okay. Interesting. Interesting choice, game. Interesting choice. Action view. What's this? Ooh! Somebody could climb under there. Maybe like a little boy or something. We open this door. Door's locked from the other side. Okay, so we can't go this way. Yes. No music. All right, so now I guess we have to go back. We have to go back. Nice. Motorcycle guy likes to scare me. Okay. 
Can I go this way? It's the same. Okay. Yep. All right. I don't remember going this way. Or do I? Ooh, something's over here. Money bag. All right. Take this guy out. Crest half B. So there's a crest we have to put together. Interesting. So there's more to this level than meets the eye. Okay, so this is... What room is this? This takes us back here. Okay, we don't want to go this way yet. So let's go left. Go left. Can we open this door? Door's locked from the other side. Okay, so we're we're pretty much locked in. So we could go back to the uh I have so many red jewels. That's pretty cool. I guess, I guess we could go back to the mansion and use this key. Sweet. Come on. Give us some music at least. Why does it have to be so dreary like Silent Hill? I feel like this is like a lost level to Silent Hill this fog and this hedge maze all right so we could open this door and this will take us back into the manor boom 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 save here yep save there data save open that door so i think we could go upstairs now that we have the Rose Garden key, is there anything over here? No. Now we have the Rose Garden key, we should be able to enter this door. Oh, uh, we could enter that door anytime. Okay, this is probably out of the... Yep, Rose Garden key has been used. That's how you get in here. White roses. Okay. Yep, Resident Evil in Castlevania. Okay, so now let's climb up here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not getting those. I need the cross. Can we open this door? Boom. Ooh, who's in here? Is Vincent in here? Man, I need a drink. I'm so thirsty. No, stay away from me. Why do you talk to me that way, Mary? Oh, Mary. I'm the lord of this annex, and I'm your husband. I'm telling you, I need a drink. Come on, Mary. Oh, I didn't see you standing there. The wife and I are having a domestic problem. We're trying to work out now. I don't know what you want, but could you come back another time? I'm looking for a girl by the name of I Ada. Ada? I'm afraid I don't know anyone that name. She, she had to have been brought here. I can still smell her. I said I don't know her. Anyway, I meet it. I'm thirsty. Wait a minute. You will do no just nicely. By your warm blood, of course. <laughs> to wet my whistle. <laughs> oh boy. He's a dra He's a vampire. Oh snap. Now I'm gonna be. A now I'm gonna be a vampire. Sh shitty man bat. <laughs> yeah. Hey Gabe. Are you using purifying? So that must be the guy that was on the tombstone. The, uh, Mary's the, the girl that's on the other side of that room. So if they have a tombstone, are they actually dead? It's weird. They're prob- they probably are dead. You're like, hold on, can I kill them? Can I open the door? Oh, Mary, are you in here? It's nothing, nothing useful. That's a key over there. Garden key. Can we break that? Yes, we could. Can we open this? 
Oh, thank you, young man. Has he left? I am Mary. I'm the wife of that... that vampire. Yes, the vampire Oldry is my husband. There was a man named Gillies de Reyes and a woman named Actress. They made him what he is today. He used to be such a good man. After he became a vampire, my husband started coming after me. And even our son, Henry. Rather than become a vampire, I've even thought of taking my own life. But how could I leave little Henry behind? From Batman, uh. Can I ask for uh, you a favor, stranger? Help my little Henry escape from here. Henry is hiding near the entrance to the garden. If you go out to the east gate, you could escape through the secret path through the forest. Please take Henry as far as this path. As a token of my gratitude, I will give you this copper. Give you this, the copper key. This, I'll give you this, the copper key. Be careful, there are demons lurking around the garden. Take care of my son, young stranger. Can we open this? Is there anything in there? All right, so we got the copper key and the cross. So we have to take Henry out of here. We have to go find Henry. So now we have to babysit a kid. That's gonna be great. Anything in here? Storeroom is locked. So, okay, the storeroom is locked. I remember in the original Castle May 64, the storeroom was locked. And we could never get that door open. I wonder if there's a way to open that door. Is there like a hidden key somewhere that could open that storeroom? I don't know. Okay, so. Oh, stained glass man's back. All right, anything over here? Anything in here? Boom, boom, boom. Purifying, can we open this door? What about this room? Archives, it is locked. Okay, so we can't open the archives room, obviously, because that's a room from Castlevania 64, or do we get the key for that archive room? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Alright, so we know that we could go through this door. Man, this was a maze getting through this game. <laughs> On the the sixty the regular 64 version. Now I'm just breezing through. Okay, so this is part where we meet Renan, I think. Yay, Renan's here. Renan Stimpy. Seems to be contract. It's so hard to read. Please pray excuse me, but have you seen a scroll hereabouts? Ah, that's it. I thank you dearly. This is important to my business. <laughs> Forgive my rudeness. My name is Renan. I am what you call a demon. He's like, he's about to react. Wait, wait. I'm not an enemy. My role is to provide useful items for adventurers to the dark castle. It is shameful to, for a demon to be working, but one needs gold even hell these days. Surely we faded, we're fated to meet. Whenever the need arises, use the scroll to summon me. Dear me, is that the time? We have talked too long. Remember, summon me whenever you need me. Okay, so I know I know this guy from Castlevania 64. Okay, let's see. Can we do we need to buy any items from this guy? S summon him with the contract. Uh buy item. Healing kit. Four thousand. Let's buy one. Let's buy roast beef. Buy one of them. Actually, no. Healing kit. I have one of these. Uh, I have the purifying as well. I have five of them. Let's get some chicken. Get two of those. And just back out. We'll bank on the rest. Alright, so let's save here. Wait, you'll save that point. Yes, please. Now we can open this door. 
I have to go find Henry. He's hiding. Can we open this door? Maze garden key has been used. Okay, so now it's nighttime. Can we open this door? Door's locked from the other side. Great. Uh, what about this door? Door bar locked has been lifted. Okay, I know where this is. I obviously know where that takes you. It takes you to the rest of the garden. So I wonder if the, the extra crest is over here. Probably is up this tower. Uh. Oh, there's no crest. Look at that. Alright, can we go straight? And that's probably going to unbar this thing. Yep. Yep, I've already been here. Uh, anything over here? Oh, I got holy water. Lost the fucking cross. That's great. That sucks. What's in here? More money bags. 300 gold. Ugh, let's see here. We should open this up next. Actually, no. We don't open that up. Okay, so let's... So we gotta go find Henry. He's lurking around here somewhere. And I assume we have to take Henry and just run away. Like, far away. Probably back to where, um... We could, like, run away. Yep, go this way. Can I jump out here? Anything in here? Nothing? Uh, anything in there? I don't think so. What's this? Uh-oh. Ah, Chainsaw Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> that must be Henry. Henry from The Shining. Or the Danny Torrance from The Shining. So we have to find the little boy. I smell a child. A human child. So this guy could smell kids. That's pretty disturbing. Imagine playing this in VR. Oh, yeah. Oh, here comes... I assume this is little Danny boy. Henry boy. Hmm. Are you Henry? Yes. My father, he, he went mad and mama is, she told me to run away. I don't know what to do. My name is Cornell. Your mother asked me to help you escape from here. You talk to Mama? Yeah, come on, let's go. Okay. That's crazy. He's like, yeah, that's it. We're, we're going to save you. Taking you out of here. Henry's rescue attempt. Henry tags along behind Cornell. Try to lead Henry to the goal. Careful that Henry does not receive too much damage. Henry is attacked by demons. His health gauge at the bottom dips. Really? Henry goes to zero, dies, and the game is over. Henry's health gauge cannot be restored. Uh, I can't lose sight of Henry. I cannot find... Oh, gosh. During the event only, use look around to display Henry's view. Uh, all right, Henry, let's go. Henry, come on, go this way. Come on, buddy. Come on, Henry, you gotta go this way. You must help Henry escape, that's more important now. Okay, so we could open this door so Henry could, yeah, Henry, come on, let's go. Henry, let's, let's, let's fucking go. Henry, come on. Come on, Henry. Did I hear him, is he coming behind me? Mud man. Okay, I think I go this way. Yeah, I tell Henry to go underneath this thing.
small hole. It's a small hole. Do you go in the hole, Henry? Henry, can you go in the hole? Henry will not go in the hole. There he is. Fuck him up. There you go. Come on, Henry. Let's go. Henry, come on. Come on, Henry. Henry, let's just do this. All right, so we got to go this way. Don't leave you. Come on, where is he? He says, help me. Come on, Henry, just go. Come on. Come on, Henry, just go. Sugar Snap, thank you for reminding me I beat Flock. How you doing, Sugar Snap? Welcome, welcome. All right. Come on. Come on, Henry. We got to save you. And thanks for the follow, Sugar Snap. Appreciate it. Fuck that guy up. There you go. Alright, come on, Henry. Let's go. You're wanted. Have to save you. Uh, there he comes again. Come on. Run, Henry. Run. Oh, you fucking a-hole. There you go. Henry, Henry, got to get out of here. I can't refill Henry's health. I just remembered. Henry, come on, let's go. Come on. Henry, go this way. Come on, use the holy water. Does he go down? Henry, let's go. Henry, keep going. Keep going, Henry. Do I go this way? No, we don't. We keep going. Come on. Stay behind. I think we just gotta go left. Yeah. Come on. Oh, here he goes. Fuck him up. There we go. Come on, Henry. Frankenstein's monster is a loser. You don't want to hang around him. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh. He, he's got to go this way. Cerberus. Of course Cerberus just pops out of nowhere. He just pops out of nowhere, Cerberus. Alright, come on in. Henry, you got to go this way. Carry Henry's ass? Yeah. Hey, look. We took Henry out of here. Can... Can't you lift the young child? Nah, not in this one. They even say you can't pick him up. Alright. Alright, that was pretty easy. Considering I know knew where to go. Thanks to Castlevania 64. You'll be okay from here. Now walk that way through the forest. As long as you wear that pendant, the wolves will watch out for you. <laughs> Aw, he saved the little boy. Alright. What will become of Mama? Well, and Father? Just go, quickly. Go. Do it for your mother. She made it possible for you to escape. All right. All right, cool. There he goes. All right, so we saved the little boy. So we have the copper key now. So now we got to use the copper key to escape this... Villa mansion thing. Ugh. Let's see. Keep going. Uh, I know there's a place to save. I'm just going to run all the way over there. That's why I'm going this way. Alright. Save. Yes, I'll save at that point. Gotta save. Come out through here. <sighs> All right. Come on, we got you. Got you, N64. I like my green controller. This is a pretty cool controller. Got the, uh, the memory card sticking out in the back. I do have a rumble pack still that works. 
Hmm. So now we have to find the copper key door. The copper door. Open. It's nice, yeah. Okay, so I think we go left. Have to find the door. We open this, right? So is he dead or what? I don't know. Oh, the little boy? Oh, she? Um, is who dead? The the guy that um, the Cornell? Nah. I don't think so. Hmm. <sighs> Wait. I wish there was a map. <laughs> I really need a map to get through this part. Uh, we came through this way. There we go. Is there a... Do we go through this way? Copper door is locked. Oh, we have to go back to the castle and get the key. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Okay, so we'll just run back this way. We have to go back and get the key from the girl. You just rescue your son, that's it? Yeah, not her. No, we have to go back to the mom and get the key. And she's going to be like, thank you for rescuing my boy. <laughs> I guess we'll find out what happens. I don't know. I think I think something happens, sadly. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe she dies. or I think she dies because she has her gravestone. You see her gravestone in the courtyard. It's weird. Let's see. Come on, where are you? You you did it! You helped Henry escape safely. Oh, that's wonderful news. As long as that child is safe, I have no more regrets. As promised, I will give you the copper key. I hope that it serves you well. Again, I cannot thank you enough, young stranger. You acquired the copper key. Okay, so I got the key. <laughs> and that's how I get through the door. The next door. Yeah. Alright. Just gotta get past Mr. <laughs> Stained Glass Man. Uh, open up. Open up. There we go. Can I just jump over the. Yes, I could. Okay. Now we run outside. Back to where the copper key is used. Open up. All right, keep going. All right, now we run this way. Do I go this way? Use the copper key. Nice. Now we could open this door. Where does that take us? It takes us into this swamp area. All right, swamp time. What's in here? What does that do? Door's been lifted. Okay, we don't want to go that way. This should just take us right to where we need to go. Run and jump. Purifying. That's save here. Save to that point. That is saved. Half crest B has been inserted. Oh, we have to solve a puzzle to get through this part? How much you want to bet the the crest A is where the that garden is? It's like a rose garden over here. I gotta find it. I have to go north. I have to solve a puzzle. I guarantee this is where I have to go. Yep, come over here. Does it let me in? The sign on the door says, Iron Thorn Fence, door, the door is locked. 
When morning sunlight reflects off of a red rose, the enclosed jewel shall be set free. The enclosed jewel shall be, shall be set free. So does that mean I can only open this door in the morning? Or... Because I remember seeing a, a, a rose statue. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my moon jewel. The moon card. Use it. So we just have to, like, wait out here until the morning. I think that means 5 a.m. or 3 a.m. Just have to wait every hour. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. I just became a, a werewolf. I didn't want to be a werewolf, but here I am. Ugh. So tired. Probably should get going. Come on, I just want to wait till that says 3 a.m. Because 3 a.m. seems to be the lucky time. I guarantee it's behind this door. When this door opens. Red Rose, this the enclosed jewel shall be set free. That's probably the enclosed jewel, whatever is in here. Nice time-based puzzle. I do have the sun card. I don't want to use it, though. Unless, like, the jewel they were talking about, what was at the top of the fountain... So we have to wait. I'm gonna wait till it says 3 a.m. on the thing. The waiting game. Annoying. Ugh. We have to wait. This is the best in this is the best thing about this game. Waiting. Waiting. Oh! Wait. Keep waiting. Keep waiting for no reason. Ugh. So how's everybody doing in, in the Twitch chat verse? Hope everybody's doing well. Ugh. Seriously have to wait? Ten o'clock, anything. It might be five AM. The sign of the door says iron thorn fence, the door is locked. I mean that happened in the original sixty four version. We had to wait till three AM to go into the Rose Garden. Play some Game of Life Spinner. Anything at 11? Nope. Anything at midnight? Midnight? to wait three more revolutions that sucks <clears throat> all right we'll do <clears throat> we'll do it up to six uh okay one at midnight that's one one 
Ugh, so annoying. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Let's see here. So pointless to do to just wait. So annoying. One. Nope. Let's do two. Two or three. Oh. Hey, he's walking in his stance. He's kicking the door. That's funny. 2 a.m. I need to trim my beard. It's thick. Getting thick. 2 a.m. Try it. Nope. Try 3 a.m. The enclosed jewel. Now, my money is starting to think that um, the jewel that they're talking about is the thing that was on the top of the fountain. That's the only other thing I could think of. All right, so I'm going to hit it around 3 a.m. Nope, doesn't work at 3 a.m. Let's try 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. will be the last one. I have one more trick up my sleeve if this doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, come on. Do 4 a.m. The morning sun. Four a.m. Coming up. Coming up strong with four a.m. Uh four. Nothing. Try five a.m. Five a.m. Any good? Hmm, 5 a.m. And then 6 a.m. Doesn't work on 6 a.m. Then I'm... <laughs> then I'm going to have to try something else. Really quick. So annoying. Why, why you got to wait? 5... doesn't work. All right, 6 a.m. I, I I knew it. It's probably the the shining red thing that was on the top of the fountain in the beginning of this level. So it is time based. It just All right, I'm going to try the 6 a.m. just for just in case. I think I already tried it 6 a.m. too. Now that I think about it. All right, come on. Come on, game. Don't mess with me. Okay. Nope, doesn't work. Okay. Got to run all the way back to the the beginning. That's great. I like to play with my mic a lot. Okay. Whoop. All right, so now we just run out of here. The jewel. Who will? Cool. Cool jewel. Hmm. Come on. Go that way. All right, here we go. Open up. Nice. All right. Mm. Go that way. Should be able to... Climb up here. Yeah. 
Come on, get it. Midget for Rose is graved on the fountain. All right, let's try item. Sun card. The morning sun. On a rose. The only other thing I could think of that didn't work. Let me leave and go back in. Is there anything over there? So that wasn't it. Nope. <laughs> So no key or anything. The only other thing I could think of is to go into the actual rose garden and look for a key. That's the only other thing I could think of. Alright. Anything in here? What is this? You have the thorn key. Look at that. That's what I needed to do. Found the thorn key. Okay, so close but no cigar, but we had it. All right, so now I think you just get the thorn key. Ugh, sweet, 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 sweet. All right, save here. Wait, Jewel? Yes, I'll save there. Data saved. Do, 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 do. All right, go through there. Ugh. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Boom, boom. Go through there. Mm, 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 da, 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 da. Okay. So I go left. And then right. And then north. And then left. Then use the thorn key. And then something's gonna happen. It's probably the, the other crest. Used it. Perfect. What's inside? Jewel. Jewel. Rose brooch. What does the rose brooch do? A rose shaped jewel set into a brooch. Okay, so this is gonna do. I'm gonna do item, sun card. Let's see what that does. Item name checks out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, X260, 2601, how you doing? Item, what do I get? Rose brooch. Did that do anything? Howdy. <laughs> I wonder if you're supposed to use this jewel on the the fountain at the beginning. That's the only other thing I could think of. It's the only thing I could think of right now. Does that make the crest appear? Oh shit. Hmm. Well, these enemies are coming out now. The enemies are coming out. It makes me wonder if I am going the right way. Alright. 
Open up. Ugh. Open up. Alright, so if I go outside, should be able to use this gem on that, right? What's this? Yes, please, let's do it. Crest A, look at that. Nice. Finally got the crest day. All right. They're spending, what was that, 20 minutes on that puzzle? Just trying to figure it out? Yep. I knew it had something to do with that fountain. All right. Save here. Yes, save up to that point. All right. So now let's go use the copper key and open that crest door. That guy wants to be dead. Father and son on that thing. 500 gold. All right, running. Hmm. Nice, jump all around him. Okay. So now, now we go this way. Uh, I believe we turn left. Turn left, and then we turn right, and then we turn left again. And then go down a little bit. All right. Nice. Keep jumping. Uh, let's see. Go through here. Yep, copper door. I know it was a little too easy to get through this level. So that means something, something's fishy. Oh, what's down here? Piece of meat. Perfect. Roast beef. I'll take that. Come on. Go here. Save here. White jewel. Yes, please. All right, use this, and that should open the door. I think there's a boss down here. Let's just fight him really quick. Should be simple. Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Come on, get up. Got him. Easy peasy boss. Is there another form? Guy, oh, uh, it's true. You are not a mere man wolf. Quite a show there, Lobo. <laughs> Actrice, who are you people anyway? A man of your skills should be able to put, him up, put up a good fight against him. Uh huh. We don't have any idea the powers of this man beast magic. It's so exciting, don't you think? Ha 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 ha. They just fade out. That's it. Him, the man beast magic. Alright. That was an easy boss fight. Very easy boss fight. Compared to the regular N64 version, that fight was hard. I was like on the verge of death. Alright. Get the cross. Perfect. Anything else here? I think there's one more. There we go. Can we open this thing? Hey, okay. And now we go downstairs. I think this takes us to the underground cavern. Oh, nice. Found a hidden path. That's not hidden. I knew it was there. I think it's the cavern, if I'm not mistaken. Unless there's a new level we play. Refill. Nice. The outer wall. White Jewel, would you like to save at this point? Yes, please. Okay, I don't remember this level, the outer wall. 
Well, anyway, I think this is a good place to stop. I'm getting tired. <sighs> All right, so yeah. Castlevania N64. We defeated this tonight. Uh, we beat it, and now we jumped into Legacy of Darkness. And uh, I think we're going to make some strides. We're going to continue playing this game. I think the next time we're going to play this will probably be next week. Because tomorrow night we're going to have a N64 variety night. So, guys, get my socials. Thank you for coming to my stream. Thank you everybody that came from Kieran's Raid that uh, stuck around. Uh, Sugar Snap, thanks for the follow. Win John, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, Six String, thank you for the bits. Matt, thank you for the host. Thank you, everybody, for coming to my stream. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, let's go raid somebody. Let's see who's up. Let's see who's up for a grand old raid. Go raid somebody. Uh, so there's going to be no stream uh, on Saturday. Um, but there will be a stream on... Uh, there will be a stream tomorrow. Like I said, we'll have uh, N64 variety night. So it should be good. So let's go... Uh, Let's go raid DS Koopa. He, he hit me up with the pretty big boy raid the other night. So let's go return the favor to him. So we'll go say hi to him. He runs Pink Gorilla, Pink Gorilla Video Games out in Seattle, Washington. So we'll go say hi to him. And uh, everybody have a great night. Thanks for coming in. Uh, if you want to you wanna send him off a little raid message, you could uh, use that emote. If not, just toss him a bunch of Tomb Raid emotes. Let him know there's a raid going on. And... Uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Everybody have a great night, and I'll, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye, guys. Later. Four.